this is Red Band coming to you live from Stand Up Live in Phoenix, Arizona for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up, I turn the Phoenix, we're back. Make some fucking noise. Wow, listen to that. How about this? Brian Redband's here, everybody. What's up, guys? Man, you guys are loud. We're ready to get down on a fucking oh, Thursday yeah. night in Phoenix, huh? Look at this crowd. This I'm is great. I'm excited. Look at all these fucking happy American people. Yeah. This is how I goddamn like a little fun fact. This is an all-time record for our fastest return ever to a roadshow oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> city. Three months ago, we were here. Jeremiah got squatted by a human being uh, while wearing elephant underwear. Yeah, uh, right. We uh, we tried to rekindle a relationship between a comedian and his ex-girlfriend. Uh, I don't know how that ended up. Uh, <laughs> Oh my two, God. two times ago, uh, Joel Berg tried to fit his penis through a guy's ear piercing hole. Uh, anything can happen. Yeah, I'm excited about hey, this. Is that guy that that was here last time with the girlfriend here tonight? Like, I believe so. He is? I believe so. Yes, there is a controversial group of people saying yes, okay. and uh, and uh, I was told earlier by the staff that he will most likely be here. Who knows? We could get a follow-up. I'm going to need that bucket whenever you guys get a chance oh, yeah. over there. The bucket with names in it. Uh, somehow that got, you know, Phoenix. Somebody's probably doing a line of blow-off it right now. Fuck, Come yeah. on, dude. It's my one fucking bucket list wish, dude. Yeah. I lost a bet to my friend. I said that if I lose this bet, I'll have to do a lot of coke off the coke on and bucket, dude. My, my Lyft driver actually uh, hinted at selling me a heroin on the way wow, here. Wow, there you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, drug line. It's real here. All right. Can't believe it. There we go. Hey, look at this. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we got it. From this, uh, from this very nice uh, guy that we know from Storage Wars, everybody. It's the Yep guy. Brought us the bucket. Brought to you by what appears to be Moet. If that isn't some Phoenix trash, I don't know what is. You know what I'm saying? Let's fucking do this shit. Of course, uh, it's always great to be out on the road. This is also a little thing for you to be excited about. This is uh, stop number one on our summer tour, our massive summer tour. Tomorrow we go to Vegas, then back to Los Angeles, where we'll be every Monday for Kill Tony Live from the Comedy Store at its home. And then Tuesday, we're off. Salt Lake City, and then Boise, Spokane, Portland, Vancouver, Seattle, two shows, Lawrence, Omaha, Des Moines, Appleton, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis, Poughkeepsie, and two shows at the Gramercy Theater in New York, New York, to kick off, or to end, the summer tour, which starts here, right now, in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. Road never ends. More announcements coming uh, for tour dates. Uh, okay. Follow very closely because... Yeah, we uh, need more. <laughs> yeah, we well, more I think, tour dates. think you're all in for a special treat. Make sure you uh, stay on top of everything by being alert and drinking delicious Caveman Coffee. CavemanCoffeeCo.com. Use the promo code KILLTONY. Save 15%. Check out uh, the amazing pins over at Rock and Pins. Our oh, yeah. friends over at Infinite CBD. If you need CBD and you go anywhere else, you're blacklisted. Oh, uh, new Reagan and Watkins album comes out June 7th, and we have posters for sale. You're also the first city that has the opportunity to buy the summer tour poster, which yeah. was, I believe, up on that screen earlier. Did you guys see that cool poster, huh? All right, you guys and, are not into buying merch. And Very good. Speaking of rock, rock and pins, uh, first city that I brought my glow in the dark Death Squad pins. Ooh, so, uh, yeah, ooh little, la la. Little Death Squad cats. There's also Tony Hinchcliffe pins oh, at yes. rockandpins.com. Very exciting stuff. Uh, so, yeah, if you get a poster after the show, we sign it. Take a picture, shake hands. It's all cool, and uh, those are uh, those are limited editions. So you know you can think you can think about it. You know what I mean? I'm not pushing them on you. I'm not, they don't call me poster pusher, Tony. What's that? What do you have there, sir? What did you just wave to me? Oh, oh you already bought one. Already you three one. bought one. Wow, it's look great. At you. Yeah. Fuck yeah, he's got it rolled up in the tube again. I think he's just doing cocaine with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's how people in Phoenix fucking roll. Drug line. As with all of our road shows, we are going guestless tonight. And uh, Chroma Chris had to work. William Montgomery at the self storage unit oh, today yeah. in hot I th- Los I, Angeles, I, California. I, I, yes. offered, I offered to drive William here. I was going to drive if William wanted to yeah. come, but he did have to work. And he was yep. like, I could quit my job. I'm like, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> he really wanted. And then yeah. he could uh, go on with his never ending adventure of finding Tony Chin. Uh, 
So, uh, just, uh, you know, just to let you know, those guys won't make it. However, it turns out, according to this piece of paper, that we have a band here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wow. I love the band. Uh, they are one of my favorite things in all of stand-up comedy. Uh, for those of you who may be, this is your first time at the show. Every single episode, they join us, and they're always different characters. Uh, maybe it's the return of some of our favorite characters. Maybe it's a brand new character that we've never seen before. Like this past Monday at the Comedy Store, they were the cast of Home Improvement. <laughs> and, it, and it was unbelievable. Uh, so you never know. But, yeah, but my favorites are sometimes we get to see uh, something we've seen before in the past come back again. But then again, maybe it's a new one. Let's see what happens tonight. It's my favorite thing. It's the best damn band in the land. It is the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg. Joel Jimenez. Hey, whoa! <laughs> it's the Milkman and Bill Billingsley. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. Am I in a time machine? We are getting real fresh milk delivered by the Milkman. This is incredible. The Milkman Jeremiah Watkins giving people, again, a little goblet of wow. milk. Uh, I'm pretty sure that lady could make it with her breasts if she wanted milk. Yeah. Look at that. Fucking, I don't think look at that's the, milk. We look just at got the tatas on that one. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the milkman is back. And Joelberg, Bill Billingsley is here. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Bill Billingsley, last time he was on the show, uh, he got too drunk and revealed to all of us that he has a drinking problem and that he hates his wife, and that he's been sleeping with his secretary, and it's basically a guy from the, what, the 40s or 50s in a midlife crisis. What is time anyway, Tony? Wow, you're drunk again. Fuck yeah. Okay, it's already man. begun. What have you been drinking today, Bill? Uh, what haven't I been drinking? Oh, okay. Uh, milkman Jeremiah Watkins is here, everybody. Clearly... Clearly, you haven't been giving your friend Bill any milk. What's huh. going on? Hiya, Tony. How are you? <laughs> Good. Must be tough out here being a milkman in hot Phoenix, Arizona. Huh? Oh, the milk curdles fast, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't have cows here, do they? That, that, that would look like elbows, dry elbows. If I, don't know. I saw some of the girls outside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bill Billingsley taking shots at the throne. Curdles fast, so we got the band, uh, we have red band, we have everything we need here, and I have this amazing uh, Moet Bucket of Destiny, oh, uh, the Moet. Phoenix Bucket of Destiny. This has been a historical place for this show. Wild things happen. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds on this stage to do some type of stand-up comedy for the love of fucking God. You know your time's up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Ah, that means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry phoenix gay bear. <laughs> there it is. That's what it sounds like. There you go. People always tell me how much they love that part of the show right there with all the buttons. <laughs> really? No, never, no, not once. No one's once. ever said uh, that. No, never. <laughs> Everyone hates that it. That bucket looks like Tesla made it. Like, that's a fucking crazy bucket. What is that? The handle's a fake handle that's halfway. All right, never mind. Anyway, uh, so here we are, right in the, we're already in our usual swing of things, so uh, that's that, and then after the 60 seconds is up, we talk with you about, uh, about your life, find out a little bit more about you, maybe fix some problems that are going on, or uh, help you maybe uh, figure out something you didn't know about stand-up comedy, anything can happen. You guys ready to start this motherfucker or what? This is it. We're back. Phoenix, Arizona. Actual fire. For those of you just listening to the podcast, actual pyro is going off inside the venue. When you hear those fireworks, it is crazy what they're able to do here in dry Phoenix, Arizona. All right. Pull the name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds. He goes by the name of Stephen Owens. Here we go. And the stairs are right over there. Yeah, the stairs are on that side. So if you're on that side, you have to go all the way to that side. Earth Angel, Earth Angel, Wow, do we already have our first? You got movement over there? Uh, he works in the kitchen. He Holy shit, the I the love fuck? it. <laughs> fuck yeah, go get him right now. Make sure he knows where the stairs are. Is that you, Steven? 
Is that you? Is it this oh, fucking? Oh, here he comes. No, oh, he's you're not, not Steven. Oh, look he's at a you. Taxi. Wow, this is very exciting. All right, fuck what? It. No, come on. Uh, he's running food on the other side. Go, go. He's blacklisted. He has to leave no. the premises right now. Red band. All right, there you go. Red band. That was red band joking, everybody. Yeah, that was me joking. Uh, all right. Well, so wait, where the where the manager go? Send it back for a second. Fuck yeah, go get his ass. If he's really running food, he'll be back any second. What's he doing, walking the food? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited about this. I don't want to give them time. They, they, they recommended maybe do another comedian, then go to Steven. I say, fuck that. Let's get this guy right in the middle of his shift while he's sweating bullets. Yeah. Let's get him to fucking kick off this show. That's exactly what it is. If you guys don't get Stephen Owens right now, I'm, I'm telling you right now, we're going to fucking throw popcorn oil all over your kitchen floor. So everybody's going to be slipping and sliding back there. What's Something's going to stink in the green room weeks later, and you'll know that's me. Here he is, Stephen Owens, ladies and gentlemen. Apron and all, fuck you. Yeah. Get him, Steven. Right there, buddy. Right there. One more time for Steven Owens. How's it going, guys? I don't work here. Uh, this is actually an internship for ASU. So, All right. Uh, so, you know, I get called Jewish a lot, and uh, I'm not. So I got a uh, ancestry test done recently. Wasted a lot of fucking money on that. Because it turns out I'm Irish, German, and Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm also a preemie baby. Um, two and a half pounds, it's like really, really small. It's a really expensive baby, or at least my parents thought. What they got was a really expensive action figure. <laughs> yeah. Usually babies get to like get delivered with two hands, but when they pulled me out with tweezers, the doctor was just like, Here. Wow. Look at that. Stephen Owens. In the middle of his shift, apron on, apron tied around the front. Really does look exactly like Seth Rogen. Uh... Fuck yeah! Get back up to that microphone, Stephen. So how long? Show. How long have you worked here uh, at Stand Up Live? Uh, I worked here for two and a half years. Two and a half years. How long have you been doing stand up? One and a half. One and a half years. So you were working here and you're running food and you're like, I could fucking do this shit. <laughs> I know I can do it, right? Yeah. That this is where you fell in love with it. Yeah, it is. I it love actually. it, man. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. And uh, is that really true? You were a premature baby. Mm-hmm. Wow, Absolutely. Wait, don't they, aren't they usually smaller? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, like overcompensate later in life? Tony, I, I didn't know babies could come. <laughs> I, wait, what? You haven't tried hard enough. Well, He's a premature baby. Oh. <laughs> Bill Billingsley. William, quit being inappropriate. <laughs> Wow. So, Steven, tell us more about you. What else do you do when you're not working here doing stand-up? Uh, I go to school at ASU, actually. Wow, yeah. ASU, you little fucking sun devil, huh? Mm-hmm. My goodness, look at you. I know. <laughs> little <laughs> fucking baby bird, you. Uh, what are you studying at ASU? Uh, I study sustainability. Sustainability? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't even understand what the fuck you're studying. <laughs> Sustainability. You're uh, talking about the environment? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's whether or not marriages can last or not. <laughs> <laughs> Sustainability? Yeah, so it's kind of like a. It's kind of like a communications degree where you focus on like alternative energy. Alternative uh, energy? Uh, You've given off more methane gas than anyone that's ever been up here before. <laughs> he looks like a mad scientist that only experiments on cheese. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Steven. 
So you signed up tonight, and uh, there was a lot of chaos. We waited a little bit for you. The anticipation. You're getting the show never kick started. What were never. you in the middle of doing? Oh, I was just putting boxes away. My, my bad, dude. Putting boxes away? Yeah. <laughs> it's a part of the job. <laughs> what boxes? They said you were running food. They lied to me. <laughs> it's just a part of the job. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You know what? So is me calling you chubby. <laughs> part of my job that I do here. I noticed you had a really wet hand when you shook my hand. Like a very uh, a very wet hand. There you go. Something for you podcast listeners that uh, <laughs> heard that wet handshake and wanted to know more. Why was your hand wet? Were you working? Why, were you yeah. in I mean, the middle yeah, of a work boxes. shift? Like not, were they wet boxes? <laughs> yeah, I only handle like the really wet boxes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My go. secretary yeah. has a really wet box. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. Listen to the crowd. They love it. It has begun. Milkman. Sp- speaking of wet boxes, how is your mother doing? <laughs> she is a beautiful woman. Steven, you have a, uh, you have a girlfriend? I do not. You don't? No. When's the last time you went on a date? I uh, don't know. Yeah, exactly. I have no idea. Uh, so uh, if you had to guess when the last time you went on a date was, when, what would that guess be? Probably like three months ago. Three months ago? Yeah. Where'd you go? I have no... I don't even remember. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible, dude. Are you masturbating right now? Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, God. He likes it from behind. Steven. Um, <laughs> wow. So what are you planning on doing? How much longer you have in college? Uh, so I graduate in December. So yeah. You graduate in December. And what's the plan after that? Are you ready to start serving our country? <laughs> <laughs> He's from a different time, Stephen. Don't mind him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what? where people like domestic abuse. Back Whoa, Stephen, <laughs> stick it over here. Oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, we don't my like my it, my but how are they going to learn? <laughs> Steven, what's your plan in December? You graduate. What are you going to do? Uh, just plan on getting a good job with benefits. You're going to get a different job? Y- yeah. Wow. You're just going to put this place on the shelf like that? Yeah. Actually, I quit today. So. You know, wow. <laughs> he just quit his job live on stage, ladies and gentlemen. That's a first. <laughs> wow. That's very exciting, Steven. Tell us something we'd be surprised to know about you. You seem like uh, there's a little... Uh, any other fun facts about you other than um, you were uh, born premature? Yeah. My guess is that you have like a record in something that we don't <laughs> know about, something like that. Uh, my grandfather was a, a moonshine runner in Kentucky. Wow. So but running, running things... <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Running things runs in your family, literally. You're a food runner. He was a moonshine runner. Yeah. My goodness. Do you ever notice uh, you doing things that maybe he would do? Uh, (laughs) Perhaps like slipping on a wacky banana peel or something (laughs) like that? You know those banana peels in Arizona, dude. They're just everywhere. (laughs) Good innocent fun. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, damn it. (laughs) Well, Steven, I'll tell you, man, you were very funny, and uh, you got the show kick-started. We're going to keep this fun train moving along. We're going right. to let you get back to... Uh, <laughs> we're going to let you get back. Fuck yeah, he's fist-bumping this time. Red Band's amped up on fucking Red Bull and vodka already. <laughs> yippee doo fucking day. We got Bill Billingsley over there. Is Earth this Angel. CVS milk, by the way? Where'd you get this milk from? Red Band's <laughs> still taking shots. Uh, well, I brewed it myself this morning. Ah. <laughs> wow, that's a real milkman. That's an interesting... Uh, Crack a dawn every morning. Okay, this looks like a fun name. Put your hands together for Charity Kuba, everyone. Charity Kuba. <laughs> Stairs are over there. Here we go. Here comes... Nope. There's someone running another direction. This could be oh, charity this, this right here. Hers. I think it is. Yeah. Oh, has to take a shit. Coming from the far side, the audience side of things. This could be one of your own. Coming from the audience. Come on, people, make some noise for charity, Cuba. Hey, everyone. So uh, it's uh, 2019, as we all know, and people are still really surprised at the fact that I didn't take my husband's last name. Uh, shortly after my wedding, uh, one of my bridesmaids came up to me and was like, oh my God, seriously, you're not going to take his last name? I was like, no, you heard what he said during his vows, I'm protesting. 
If you don't remember, well, let me remind you. He verbatim said, I remember the first time I saw Charity in her tight work pants and her high, high heels. And I thought to myself, why is there a stripper walking through our parking lot? Yeah, protesting. To all my friends that worked at the wedding, I'm like, I'm a feminist and we're progressive. But the truth is, is that he's got an unfortunate last name. Yeah, his last name's Wiener. <laughs> and when you pair that with a first name like Charity, the literal definition is nonprofit penis. So free dicks, everyone. You get a dick, and you get a dick, you get two dicks. Wow. That was incredible. My goodness. All right. So, Charity, uh, what I gathered from that is that you married a wiener? I did. And then you didn't take his last name? I did not. How long ago did you get married? Four years. Four years ago. Four years this May. Four years this May. Where did you guys meet? In a parking lot. A real parking lot? In a real parking lot. And you were walking, and what did he say to you? Um, It took him a... Well, we... we, uh, It was a... He stalked me for a year and a half. Oh, (laughs) wow. How did he stalk you? What did he do? Look out his window to the parking lot? Yeah, he did, literally. uh, For a year and a half. We worked in the same office building, but different businesses, and we used to park next to each other every day, and to his whole office, I was red car girl, and... Let's uh, check in with the milkman for a second. (laughs) Oh, let's... Let's get that out of the way first, and then Milkman. Uh, uh, by the way, it's not called following. It's called courting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Charity, how'd you know that he finally liked you when he was done stalking you? What was the move? Well, I quit my job, and uh-huh. I told him that he wouldn't be seeing me in the parking lot anymore, so he found me on LinkedIn and told me that the parking lot wouldn't be the same. wasn't the same Whoa, without me. Oh, hell yeah. He wanted to fucking pull in your spot. I like that. <laughs> Man, the rare link, the marriage made in LinkedIn. That's fucking, that's a I rare know. one, right? It's new marketing. From the LinkedIn to the Stinkton. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello, the old uh, internet shocker. Uh, so first date, wh- where did he take you? Where uh, This guy looks like he took you to what, a Cabela's or something like that? <laughs> Get some fishing wire. He took me to an Italian it's restaurant. It's an Italian restaurant? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Wow, wow. sounds ethnic. <laughs> H- how'd that go? What, what happened there? Do you remember, uh, you remember anything? Or is it uh, yeah. you took a few sips of your red wine and forgot most of the night after no, that? No, uh, you know, we, he kissed me in the parking lot. So wow, very, look at uh, you guys have a lot of parking lot shit I going know, on yet. I know, I know. You guys right? have a, uh, you, you, uh, you, have you gonna, you thinking about having kids someday? We thinking about one? doing the old fucking parking lot hanky panky? I know. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Too late, we have one. We have a oh, two-year-old. Oh, you have a two-year-old. Yeah. Wow, yeah. What parking lot did you fuck in? All of them. All of them. You ever back into his space? <laughs> hey, Bill Billingsley likes it raw, taking chances. So uh, he's really a wiener, huh? He really so is. so weird that that's the last name. What does he do for work? He's a civil engineer. He's a civil engineer. What a wiener. How about you? What do you do for work? I'm in sales. You're in sales? What are you selling? Uh, technology. What kind of technology? Uh, storage, servers, software, all Storage all kinds of servers. Things. Storage and servers. So. Storage and servers, like hard drives and things like that. Yeah. All right. Well, hard drive. You got me sold. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> is this your uh, first time doing stand up? Yes. Wow, you that's so tell? cool. Yeah, no, I could. <laughs> you nailed the minute, though. You definitely had it like rehearsed and uh, performed out. There weren't many. Uh, there weren't many like hard beats to it, but you know, I got to give you credit. You seemed comfortable up there. Um, you stayed in the pocket. Uh, you know, you got to get the mic up closer to your mouth yeah. and make sure that everybody can hear you and that you clearly enunciate. And uh, do you have a really quiet voice in a, like like in real life? Like, is your voice really quiet? I don't think so. Is that better? Do yeah, that's better. Be? Yeah, that's exactly okay. like that. Yeah, you really gotta <laughs> you really gotta get it up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> get it. Gotta pretend there. like you're in a parking lot. Push that fucking <laughs> stick up Bingo. right to your face. What else, Charity? What do you guys? Uh, what do you like to do for fun? Any hobbies or anything like that? You got a two-year-old that you pushed out of your vagina. I did, in under five hours. <laughs> under five hours. Yeah. Is that good? I don't know. Yeah, that's very good. I Tony, don't know how long does a baby usually <laughs> it's take? It's excellent. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like a fast delivery. Oh, very fast. absolutely. <laughs> All right, milkman. 
At I've least attended it didn't a lot fall of out, right? No, yeah. no, no, no. You definitely didn't fall out. Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, so could I, you, could oh, I ask yes. a question that's just been really rubbing me the wrong way since she spoke about it? How come you didn't take your hubby's last name? Didn't you hear? I didn't. You didn't. No. How come? Because when you pair it with a first name like Charity. Charity Wiener. That's right. <laughs> Charity Wiener. I, 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 I don't see the problem. So what else do you guys... Sounds a little bit like a horrorish move to me. <laughs> what else do you guys do for fun, it Charity? Goes well, with the stripper piece, so that's good. Oh, my Perfect. God. Charity, over here. <laughs> over here. Here I am. What else do you guys do for fun? You know, uh, work in our child monopolizes a lot of our time, so we just moved here from San Diego like a year ago. So we're why, still why here from San Diego? That's an interesting maneuver to me. One of the most... Uh, I mean, I like Phoenix a lot, but San Diego is basically heaven on earth. So I know, right? What's the what's the why? Uh, for work. Oh, work reasons. Yeah, that fucking makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I forget about that. I went to San Diego lo- m- once. I uh, went to San Diego. Didn't prefer it very much. A lot of soy milk there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you, you fucking milkman. Um, all right, Charity. Well, congratulations on Thank your first you. time. What, Thank uh, you. Let me ask you this: What were you hoping to uh, like? Uh, is this you think this is something you're going to do more often? No, probably you, not. You, you, you were just you just some. Thank sort God. Of, well, oh my God, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Bill, you are so mean to women. Oh. Wow. Yes. Listen to how loud that crowd got. Incredible. <laughs> Much louder than the uh, in studio audience. <laughs> Uh, no, so I'm kind of like uh, Mrs. Maisel, right? This is kind of his thing, and he listens to Kill Tony, and uh-huh. so we decided that we were going to, you know... Both you both signed up? No. Oh. I signed up. Right. <laughs> what a wiener. He uh, let me run with it. <laughs> All right. There she goes. Charity Kuba, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. How about, the, how about another hand for the band, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Learning new songs. Doing it for sex. you. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for one word name. Blee. B-L-E-A. Blee. Here we go. Blee. B-L-E-A. Here we go. Hell yeah. Come on. One more time for Blue. It's Blair, goddammit. <laughs> so uh, when I was younger, I used to think I had a little dick. Until I got high one time and uh, realized I just had big hands. <laughs> but then when I wasn't high no more, I realized that uh, I just had big hands and a little dick. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just playing. That's just a joke. You know, I like to tell girls that before uh, things get hot and heavy, you know, because uh, when I drop my pants, they know I won't lie to them, you know? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. But uh, I recently got on Tinder. Uh, shout out, make some noise if you're uh, on Tinder. Some of you motherfuckers is lying out there. No, nah, but I'm on Tinder. But uh, I think I pressed the wrong button, man, because all the girls I get to choose from are bitches that look like me. Hey. Fuck yeah. Blay. 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 Fuck yeah. I'm excited about this. This is the first time we've ever had Samoa and Amy Schumer on this show before. <laughs> so. I'm pretty pumped to have you here. I'm starstruck. Hey, I, I, wrote, I, you. I, I wrote my own shit, all right? Blay, that was a funny set. Have you only looked at your dick while it's been next to your hands? Because it seems like you have big hands. You thought you had a song, but you like, were you, or do you, are you always like, you have to like hold it or something? I mean, I like to size it up against things, you know? <laughs> it was just your hand for a long time. And then one time you tried a fucking Coke can and you're like, holy shit. I'm the fucking man, you I'm know? I'm blessed. I love that. Play, yeah, hey, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, this is my first time. First time? Wow, look at that. Coming up here, owning it. 
I like your style, dude. Very comfortable. Great fucking jokes all the way. Thank I'll you. give you a good tip and tell you now since it's your first time uh, correcting the host for your weird spelling of your name. Yeah, uh, what the fuck was that? Sort of just makes you seem like an asshole. Yeah. It, hey, if I and it works on this show, but in real life, like it might not work. Just to If I didn't do it, everybody would be calling me Blee. I mean, so. Well, you could also bring it up normally in a conversation. You don't have to yell at us like, it's Blee, motherfucker. Like, whatever wow. you did. <laughs> Wow, Red Band remembers hey. it a whole different way than hey. what hey. happened. It's amazing. Hey, but now you guys know. But yeah, you hurt Brian's feelings, man, and he loved you in Moana. <laughs> Whatever. I fucking knew it. You're so good. No, I, You're so good at getting the things that I don't fucking... Uh, that did I you ever c- figure out what the smoke monster was? Like, did you... <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm a grown-ass I, man. I haven't seen that movie. You once were lost, but now you're found. Uh, <laughs> I think we finally found out where the wild things are. <laughs> hey, East Phoenix, you know what I mean? So, Blay, what you been doing this whole time? How old are you? Uh, I'm 28. 28. Yeah, I've what been trying to do? get on the show. Uh, when you guys were here last time, I tried to get on. Uh-huh. I was out in uh, L.A. last week. I tried to get on. You signed up when we were here last and last week in L.A.? Uh, I didn't sign up because I didn't even get in. It was too packed. You didn't even get in. It was too packed. Fuck yeah, especially for a guy your size. Um... <laughs> Goddamn fire hazard with you in there, Blake. <laughs> uh, so you're 28. What you been doing this whole time? What do you do for work? Um, I used to work at a group home. I used to manage group home uh, for about eight years. Group um, home, not yeah. group on. No, nah, you know I, when you shit. say group home, it sort of sounds like group on. Has anybody group ever told home. you that before? I manage a group home. Nope. I'd rather work with Tiffany Haddish, don't you? Say so you manage a. Uh, say it again. I manage a group home, so. Uh, <laughs> You heard it. You heard it that time. You're like, holy shit. I've been calling my job Groupon the whole fucking time. (laughs) I work for Groupon. I manage a Groupon. Hey, either way. Okay, so what do you do with the Groupon? Uh, At the group home. Hey. Uh, (laughs) So it's not Groupon. Um, Just, you know, watch the kids. uh, Try and, you know, provide them the best best way of life, you know? You watch Uh, kids? I always thought you hid under their beds. (laughs) Hell yeah. You put the, he does. He puts the bear in the bear necessities. <laughs> um, man, you, so you worked there for what? Five years, you said? Uh, eight years. About eight eight years. years. Man, you must have helped so many kids. Do you have any cool stories of anything that's ever happened there or anything? Like uh, that? I have a really funny jo- uh, story. Um, okay. There was a kid at an uh, uh, older house that I used to work at, and uh, he was going to be 18. He wanted to move out to L.A. Uh, he told everybody he wanted to be a porn actor. So... He went out there, came back about six months later. Uh, my boss was like, yeah, what happened? He's like, they said my dick wasn't big enough. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, true Shut story. the fuck up. True story. Uh, I don't know if I... Be- Did you put your hand next to it? Is that why he said that? <laughs> I, was, I was like, let me see your hand. Yeah, it's definitely too small. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Wow. What do you like to do for fun, Blay? Uh, make music out here, man. You make music? Yeah, what I do you beats. do musically? What are your things? Uh, all digitally. Um, all digital. Yeah, I use Ab- it's a software called Ableton. Wow. Is there anything uh, that we might be able to find on Spotify or something oh, like yeah, that? Yeah. Or, uh, um, I got a song that's on iTunes. iTunes. How about that? iTunes is good. We love iTunes. iTunes is our friend. It's not, it's not uh, my name. It's a different person's name. Oh, it's a different person's name, but you made the beat? Yeah, I made the beat. and he. he How like, would we find it? What's that called? Brian, are you? Is this it? Brian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's me. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What would we, how would we find it? What's it called? Um, the name would be Young Weston. Young Wrestling? Weston. Like Weston? The yeah. Like the hotel? Yeah. Young Groupon. W S T I N. Young Weston. What's the name of the song? Uh, old, old Ways. ways. This yeah. is Old Ways. Yeah, I made this beat. Wow, you made this? Yeah. All right. Let's hear it. Let's I like the logo. I mean, turn it up, Red Band. Let's hear this. Shit. Uh, That's a. Hey, shout out, Los No, feelings. don't, don't, Brian, Brian. <laughs> Does it? It's about to like kick in any second, so, or is it like romantic like this <laughs> yeah, the whole no, time? No, the drum this drum. for six this, hours. This, this sounds like this. This, this sounds, sounds like the lobby of the Westin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, there you go. This sounds like the music that plays in R. Kelly's bathroom. Hey, that's what we're going for. 
This sounds like the You music. mean his bedroom. <laughs> his bedroom is his bathroom because he <laughs> pees on Okay. I know. It was sort of just like... <laughs> Cholberg. Blay, interesting <laughs> stuff. Uh, Blay, so you're yeah. mostly a digital guy. What do you do physically? Like, do you have any... Uh, yeah, I like that. I, I got no, yeah, there you go. Take a take a half a step that way, Brit Blade, to the front of the stage. Brian, what's going on over here? Are you okay? You got this you got this guy hit fucking battle. That not, was him taking a step, all right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, there you go. Calm He's down. on his digital soundboard. Um, what do you do physically? What do you do? Like, you do anything to, for exercise or anything like that? What do you do? Like, ride bird scooters or uh, something yeah, like I mean, that? I like, to, I like to play. <laughs> hey, bird scooters are fun, man. When you're high, like. Oh, yeah. Hell Tempe yeah. Tempe Town Lake, you just be whizzing and shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, hey, they, these people know Tempe Town Lake. Like, what's like a about. big, what's like your exercise thing? You have anything uh, you like basketball. to do? Yeah, basketball. Basketball? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. You box people out and shit. You use your, uh, you use your uh, low center of gravity for hell, position. Hell yeah. Right? Yeah, I played like uh, back in the day, you know, physical and shit. Back in the day. Yeah. When did you, when's the last time you played basketball? Uh, last weekend. Wow, look at you. It is. He's like the, uh, he's like fucking, uh, some type of, uh, basketball player. <laughs> Milkman, anything about this guy? Where, where, where do you see uh, you? I play basketball. Great sport. <laughs> Started here in America. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um... <laughs> Well, Blay, uh, I mean, for especially for a first time, great fucking set. Appreciate I mean, it. very fun. You know, keep writing and fucking take chances and talk about shit that, you know, can really relate to you. Because I don't know if I believe your dick's that big. You know what I'm saying? Because your hands aren't that big. And the smallest yeah, thing about you is probably your big. legs. <laughs> <laughs> it looks well, like you skip leg day every day. Well, nah, I just... Uh, I was inspired by Brennan Schaub to buy these pants. No, I like that. Yeah. Tight. I, I had never wow, s- that's tight. Uh, uh, your I, pants, I get I mean. a sound, but you're over here messing up, and nobody gave you a sound. <laughs> oh, Blade taking shots at the throne. Here we go. There goes the rest of the show, everybody. Uh-oh. Ding, dang, bling, blong. <laughs> there you go. Very good. Uh, I would, uh, I would, uh, is that true? You really, is that a new pair of pants that you got inspired by Brendan Schaub to wear? I'm going to tell Brendan that he's wow. inspiring fat people to wear skinny jeans. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to tell him this when I get back on Sunday. Yeah. All right. I love it. Blay, All you right. rock it well, man. You have a great <laughs> spirit. I like your style. Don't quit. Keep doing it. Blay, ladies and gentlemen. I like it. Yes, indeed. He's a gold so digger. Out here. Way out of town. That's good to me. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Another one word name. How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How, ma- how many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? There you go. Wow. Right back into the swing of things. A good 80 20, right where I like it. Uh, That's the most. Sir. Put your hands together for your next comedian. One word Graham. Graham. G R A M. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. I know a Graham when I see one. This guy's definitely a Graham. There he is. One more time for Graham. I'm about to shit my pants. Uh, so I went on a, a bad date the other day. I say it was a. Uh, wasn't really a bad date. I, uh, you guys ever go bowling and she gets the same shoe size as you? <laughs> uh, uh. Uh. That's all I've um, <laughs> As uh, I was watching NASCAR, I was really bored. Um, I was watching NASCAR the other day. And it got me thinking, like, all the NBA players, if they're sponsored by a certain shoe, like, they can't go out and watch. They can't wear Nike and then go play in Adidas. <laughs> but uh, going back to NASCAR, what if... <laughs> you can finish it. Yeah, go ahead. Stop, stop, stop. Pay attention to the show, guys. Yes, you can finish. 
just made me think, what if uh, NASCAR drivers had to use what they were sponsored by? Like, Coors Light, Viagra, Pornhub. All right, now play is off. Get this fucking guy out of here. All right. Graham, that was fun. Uh, is that your real name, Graham? Yeah. It's you seem, spelled, it's you seem much different. smaller than a Graham. May I recommend changing your name to perhaps... Tony, he does look like a cracker to me, though. <laughs> Graham Cracker. You haven't seen my asshole. Whoa, you got a big asshole, Graham? And we won't! No. It's just black. Oh, it's black. Oh, all right. Get uh, that noise out of here! Um, I don't want to see your butt. Heck yeah. Here we are, tiny little Anderson Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> I love the bowling Just, shoe size joke. You did exactly what uh, what I recommended the last guy uh, did when I told him talk about things that are, you know he can joke about that are relatable to him, and you came right up and with your tiny feet you made a joke about how the girl and you have the same bowling shoe size, and it got a big thank laugh. Thank you. Hell yeah! Uh, for the podcast listeners, how tall and uh, what's your weight? Five nine one thirty. Wow, uh, it's pretty much the same size as me, but you look like a bitch. Wait, five, <laughs> five nine. You're, we still have the same. There's mustache. no way you're five there's nine. There's no way by you're five way. nine. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Joel just said he's five eight. <laughs> wow, uh, I don't no, know. No, no, maybe he I'm, is. I'm, I'm five eight. Yeah. <laughs> you're a fucking liar, Graham. Five nine. Yeah, dude, you're not five nine, bro. Hey, we have a tape measure in the uh, manager's office. Can we go on a run for a tape measure, please? Please, somebody find me some type of measuring stick. (laughs) Your nose is a lot bigger in person. Look at this. Milkman and the Milk Boy coming soon to a theater near you. Wait, how old are you? 24. 24 and a half? Something like that. Fuck yeah, Graham. First time doing stand-up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why you were about to shit your pants. Looks like you barely have any poop in your belly to poop your pants with. <laughs> Little guy, you. You don't even have a butt to poop from. How are your pants staying on right now? Do you have a belt on? What is that? Nothing. You just fucking, you just rock that shit, huh? <laughs> Those pants specially made for you? What's that waist size? Uh, Whoa! What? You what? Give, me, give me that. I'm going to do this shit myself. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Nothing more fun than finding a little guy who's like, yeah, yeah, totally 5'9". All right, the verdict is in. The verdict is in, and you are, my friend, without a doubt, five foot seven and a half inches. Know what? Yeah. How are you shocked? I'll let you keep the tape measure just for, uh, just for good measure. No, 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 give that back. It'll, it'll make my ass look bigger. You never get to make a good measure joke about measuring tape. I just did it. You could fucking save that in the, Don't uh, touch fi- like that. In the files for when I die. You could put that in, in the compilation video. <laughs> it's for good measure. You had no idea. Are you playing dumb right now? What do you think? I'm a chick like debating whether to suck your dick or not? Like, How tall are you? What, you what, what are we, on a Tinder message board? Like, only 5'9". Totally 5'9". Uh... To- totally 5'9". Uh, can we go on this date? Just shoving paper towels in your shoes? <laughs> I thought I was six inches, but I guess that's a lot smaller, too. Well, yeah, probably. You're, you probably have no dick, dude. No. Uh, no, come on. He's got a dick. He's got a little baby dick. <laughs> it's, an, it's an innie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think your dick was six inches, or is that a joke? It's always fun for me to hear guys talk about how big they, they, their public dicks are. No, I'm, I'm confident in, like, the average of the U.S. Like, <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> Bill Billingsley seems to be going for broke over there. Uh, he's getting it all figured out. <laughs> oh. That's soft, right? Uh, the tail of the tape. All right, Graham, tell us more about yourself. You're, uh, you're 24. You just started stand-up comedy about uh, uh, six minutes ago. Uh, tell us more. What else should we know about you? What makes you interesting? Uh, you, uh, you were raised by lesbian parents. Am I correct? No. Am I close to right on this at all? <laughs> you don't know your mom's a lesbian? Not yet. You she are is. a lesbian? <laughs> she is. 
Uh, tell us some more about you, Graham. Um, I produce music like the last guy. Wow, really? All digital? You play any instruments or anything like that? Um, guitar. Guitar. Piano. piano that's not, it. Not drums. Just shit to try to get <laughs> pussy. You only play the pussy instruments, huh? No. Oh, what are you trying to say here? <laughs> I'm fucking my secretary! <laughs> I don't think drummers are known for the, the amount of pussy they get. Ever heard of Tommy Lee? <laughs> All right. All right. Very good. Uh, How long have you been one of the outsiders? <laughs> That's a good question. No switchblade. That's a good question. Uh, so tell us more about you, Graham. There's got to be interesting things about you. Come on. You got to dig for it sometimes. You, uh, you ever win anything? You have any trophies that you've won in your life? You have world's tiniest eyes or something like that? Or <laughs> the tiny I, eyes. You got a weaker m- mustache than you. <laughs> uh, that's a, that, was a good, that was a good attempt, but uh, I still got myself up 17-0 against you right now. Uh, <laughs> So if you want to keep shooting, feel free, but it'll get worse. <laughs> it will get worse. I see you reaching in your pocket for more jokes, so you're not going to find any there. Uh, so, Graham, come on, hit us with something. Anything interesting about your life whatsoever at all? My mom used to run numbers in a mafia gambling ring. Your turn. <laughs> My mother takes vacation every weekend. Yeah, is that and true? And I'm with her on those vacations. Yeah. Is, that an actual, is that an actual honest thing? Pretty much every So other. How, well, how does she take a vacation every week? What does she do? What does your dad do? Uh, my dad works high up in a company. <laughs> high up in accounting? A company. A company. Yeah. Can you say the company? Or can you say the type of company? Um, we'll just say Pepsi. Oh, okay. Oh. Very good. Uh, RC uh, guy, huh? So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so your mom, uh, like, really high up. So he's like a CEO type of COO type of one of those things that makes a lot of money, a lot of bonuses, a lot of corporate around there, tax yeah. breaks, right, Milkman? Yeah, could you tell your father, uh, although it's a different liquid, I am also a big fan of the soda pop. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Graham, so your parents are rich. Big house? You still live with them? No. You're on your own? Yep. How long you been on your own? Uh, well, I just moved here. I was on my own for a while. And I just moved to uh, Arizona. So From where? Texas. What part of Texas? Dallas. You were too tiny to stay there. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah. Get your little fucking pussy ass up to one of them goddamn liberal pussy cities. <laughs> Closest one to here is Phoenix, I think. Get the fuck out of Texas. No big truck, though. <laughs> All my tiny... All right. Uh, so... You got out of Dallas. Why Phoenix? Uh, Welcome to another episode of one of my favorite new shows, Why Phoenix? <laughs> music stuff. Music stuff. Hell yeah. Are you successful in the music field? Do you, do you make money by doing that? Um, I make some. His yeah. dad's rich, Tony. He doesn't right. need to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, your, do your parents give you money sometimes? Every once in a while? Yes. Is the um, definite answer? If it's not an immediate no, then the answer is definitely yes. One thing I learned pay, from hosting the they, show. They pay my if car If it's not insurance. like a hell no, then it's a, oh, yes. They, they, pay, they pay college and, and my car insurance. College and car insurance. So the answer is actually fuck yes. Uh, <laughs> That's what, pretty normal, though. Wh- what are no. you uh, going to school for? Audio engineering. Audio engineering. Audio engineering. Any, oh, wow. Anything coming out soon on analog? On analog, Jesus! <laughs> oh, here's this new song. You have a, you have any uh, you have any hit songs that on uh, on the internet or something like that? Anything you're proud of? Do you sing? I don't sing. No, you uh, don't. But you so then SoundCloud? if wait what SoundCloud? SoundCloud? We have SoundCloud. Wait, uh, what would he type in? How would he find it? Brains underscore dub. Brains underscore or, uh, brain brains underscore music. Brains underscore music. Now, do you know that zero uh, percent of br- bands with an underscore are successful? <laughs> That's a scientific fact. I read that why in do you, Billboard why do you think magazine. I'm here? <laughs> you are an underscore, Graham. Thank you. <laughs> that got in awe of all the things. I, I called him an underscore, like meaning he's like tiny. That's something he lied about earlier, and you're on his side on that one. A hard awe from the fucking weird table, the Cabela's table over here. <laughs> This is it? You don't seem very proud of it. Uh, no, I released one yesterday. I oh, just want, there was a recent one. 
Wow. Yeah, it's a remix Shawn of a, somebody else's song, though. Yeah, but it's all producing. It's just yeah, lyrics. He produced he, it. Yeah. Here, play that one. Let's hear that one. What's that one it's sound like? So Let's we hear. kicked off YouTube. Here's Sean Menendez remix. Well, that's. Well, don't we turn it up that loud, <laughs> Brian. I mean, it's like you purposefully just self-destruct. It's almost incredible. So that we get kicked off YouTube louder than anything else in the show, and you play that part. I mean, literally. It's well, just no, no. I mean, mind-boggling. This is you just taking somebody else's song. Well, no, I'm just taking lyrics. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, but okay. Well, we we understand what you're saying, Brian. But you you could have just said that without. I hate it when my parents fight. <laughs> it's unreal. It's just unbelievable. All right. Well, Graham, uh, we had fun. Uh, you are, uh, if you're wondering, uh, five foot seven and a half. It'll it'll probably yep. always be that way. You're 24. I'm pretty sure you're done growing. Um, but you know what? You did jokes. You looked small up here. You're wearing a small T-shirt. You're wearing jeans that fit you properly, like a little fucking Levi baby boy. Uh, and, uh, and for what you talked about, that actually works. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm almost glad you weren't wearing a big baggy hoodie or anything like that or a jacket because you did jokes about having small feet and it fucking did really good because they're like, yeah, this guy does have fucking small feet. (laughs) And so, you know, if you're going to keep talking about stuff like that, then I, I wouldn't change a goddamn thing. Just keep writing and trying it and doing it some more. There he goes. Graham, everybody. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. There he goes. I don't know. Everyone wants handshakes tonight. But if we say no handshakes now, then the rest of the people are going to be all sad about it. Oh, I know you don't want to shake my hand. Yeah. I know you said you don't like shaking hands. Yeah. All wet. If, yeah, but if we complain about handshakes, we seem like L.A. pussies. Did you know that? <laughs> Measles, baby. Are you not vaccinated? No, I am, but they say it doesn't work. If you're 44, it's probably not going to work anymore. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Like, oh, yeah, that 70s measles juice. Okie dokie. Uh, another th- <laughs> back to the show again. Uh, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Michael Cancino, everyone. Michael Cancino. Michael Cancino. Here he comes. Holy shit. It's the real Michael Cancino, everyone. All right, before I start, I'm a good guy, okay, guys? So just heads up. <laughs> <coughs> Shit's been crazy lately, guys. <laughs> like, really crazy. Shit's getting fucked up out of hand. These school shootings are just... It's a little too much for me. I don't know about you guys, but... Uh, if there's one upside to it, funeral homes are making fucking bank. <laughs> when for the first time in a long time, they're selling shit in bulk, guys. <laughs> I'm fucked up for saying it, but you guys are fucked up for laughing. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I actually heard the other day, man. They, uh, they're, they're giving out deals now, like buy two, get the other one free. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go home and kill myself. So thank you. <laughs> I'm Michael Cantino. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bailing out early at 46 seconds. I wish you would step. Um, so, Michael, let's talk about it. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, the joke wasn't all... That was a minute, by the way, right there. Uh, the joke wasn't all that bad, but you literally are, like, holding on to yourself for dear life up here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing ballsy material, but you're doing it like a fucking like you just you just put the mic up to your mouth to clear your throat, for example. Like you're so unbelievably nervous right now that you're literally doing everything backwards. Uh, really you came up here and while talking about how the school shootings uh, are a funeral homes business is booming, you're literally hugging yourself for dear life. Just, yeah, yeah, funeral homes are doing good. <laughs> You think, I'm going to kill myself. (laughs) You're like laughing, your head's down. You got to fucking look these fucking people in their goddamn eyes. And you got to tell them what the true backbone of your joke is. That everybody's complaining about this, but the fucking... Some the, you got to look at the positives in life. Funeral homes are doing fucking banging <laughs> yeah, business. You got to look at them. Look at them and ask them why the chicken crossed the road. Look at them. 
Why the chicken cross the road, guys? Why'd you just do that? Did you see what you just did? Let me show you what you just did. You just, you just let it in. Hey, guys, why the chicken cross the road? <laughs> like, if I did that, if I was here doing stand-up comedy and everybody was like, holy shit, we paid to see Tony Inchlow, and I was like, ha, ha, ha. It's all fucked up out there, guys. Oh, man, I fucking mean, I really believe in what I'm about to say. I'm really passionate about it, and I worked hard on it, huh? Like these people would be like, what the fuck, man? Why don't you go stock boxes like a food runner? Because that's what food runners do. They stock boxes. Did you fucking know that? <laughs> Wet boxes, apparently, right? Michael, you need fucking... Is this your first time on stage? The second. The last well, time let me tell you guys came. Last time was... Uh, the li- oh, you were on the last show. Yeah, I was well, the first one to go up. So. Oh, that's cool. What happened there? You, you, you had a brother that did it, too. Yeah, yeah. He didn't uh, sign up. He's a pussy, so... I remember that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, here we are again. Look here at this. It's are, fucking man. destiny. Somehow you got worse your second time around. <laughs> And, and to be fair, Tony, that's usually how it goes. Usually your right. first time's always really good, yeah. and then next, like, five times sucks. It's true, because now you're overthinking it. You're like, I got one <laughs> under my fucking belt. I'm going to do this shit. I'm going well, get... to <laughs> fucking do it. I, there's so much <laughs> happening in the news. I'm like, fucking... Uh, uh. No, I came up, like, uh, the rest of it, the rest of the... Where are you seven, going? Where are you, where are you going? Are you I'm going out go. into this street? Are you going into old-timey Arizona land? <laughs> Is that where you're going? You're going to go pick up one of the trolleys, huh? I'm going nowhere, man. Milkman? <laughs> it was a simpler time. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, uh, remind us of, uh, of what you do for work. I'm a maintenance technician. I talked That's about, right. Maintenance uh, technician, yeah. apartment building, maintenance. Well, I'm a maintenance supervisor now. So I oh! oh! <laughs> Woo! Maintenance supervisor. Maintenance supervisor. Is there is there any updates? Anything crazy happened since we last saw you in the maintenance world? Uh, yeah. Well, this one you look like the one that week. would be clogging all the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> I can unclog my own toilets, man. So you son uh, of a bitch. <laughs> you did it uh, again. No, so I walked into an apartment the other day. And I'm like, it's when you knock on a door, you gotta yell maintenance, right? Uh huh. I go in and nobody answered at all. So yeah. I'm in there. I'm like, I'm doing an inspection. I'm doing everything. And I opened one of the closets. It's like a five foot five closet. Uh-huh. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, this big, like six foot five Samoan dude's just sitting in the fucking closet, man. We had yeah. him on he stage just, earlier. Like Crisscross yeah. applesauce looks up at me. And he looked up at you and he's like, My name's Blay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just producing music in here, dude. <laughs> And this guy looked up at me, and he had giant hands and a little dick. <laughs> and, and yeah, man, like, I, I fucking jumped. Like, I was like, oh, shit. And he just looks up at me and closes the fucking door, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Didn't dude. say a word to Yeah, me, yeah. Six, <laughs> six foot five Simones don't have to do her anything. However, uh, five foot seven and a half guys. Uh, <laughs> what was he? You think he was on drugs, maybe? I don't know. He had, like, a bunch of, like, Phones that were taken apart and a bunch of other shit. In the closet. In the closet. So, yeah. He yes. barely fit in there, man. So, yeah, he was on drugs. And you don't... Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely on drugs, so... Has anybody ever discovered that you were in the closet? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, man, no. Maybe one day a six-foot-five Samoan man will... Walk in on me or Realize... <laughs> make you realize that you were in the closet all along. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Joel Berg. Instead Bill of Billings. yelling maintenance when you get there, you ever thought of yelling immigration? <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a good Usually point. that gets them out. <laughs> Why are you going into people's apartments so much? Like, like you have to do that a yeah, lot? Uh, so these people are like Section 8 and stuff. Oh. So you got to go and inspect and make sure they're not killing people or killing others. Is that like a that government job then that you have? It's a contract? Yeah, it's a contract. Mm-hmm. We're contracted through. So. It's a good contract probably, right? Yeah, it's a good contract. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I work down the street. Like I could walk he- from here over there. So yeah, just All to right, give the listeners nice. some uh, some uh, visual for what type of neighborhood we're in, uh, he could just walk to his <laughs> Section Eight housing from here. <laughs> My goodness. Well, no, no. So I was helping out at that uh, property, but I work at like a senior property where sh- crazier shit happens. There. Yeah, crazier yeah. shit happens at the senior property. <laughs> yeah, like man, what? <laughs> So, yeah, the other day I got called out. Yeah. Uh, like 12 o'clock at night, right? Uh-huh. I get there. No, so, so the third floor lady's calling me. She's saying, oh, my apartment's flooding from upstairs. Like, I got water coming through the smoke detectors. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I get there. 
I go up to the fourth floor where it's flooding, and I knock on the door, and it's some old guy. Like, fuck, dude, he was out of it. He opens the door. It's like 12 o'clock. He has music playing. Uh -huh. I'm like, hey. I'm like, everything okay? Uh, Wait, you didn't say maintenance. No, I just knocked. Yeah, I did yell maintenance, yeah. But <laughs> I not. <laughs> yeah, they're old. They would just go. <laughs> they're so old, they'd be like, what? <laughs> maintenance. So then, ah! so then what happened? So I knock, and I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey, everything okay? So like, it's all right. Man, this sounds like a scene from The Conjuring. Like, it's like water <laughs> dripping, like just an old man, like, huh. <laughs> and, uh, Go ahead. So I'm like, hey, you got water in here? It's like, you know, I'm like, were you going to call me for it? I was getting to it, and something else came up. <laughs> uh, so drugs. <laughs> old, old people he's drugs. He's a senior. <laughs> he had Woodstock pictures up everywhere, so he's probably just having a bad trip, you know? What type of pictures? Like Woodstock and all uh, this other shit, like Bob I Marley. See. And he was right. old. He was like in his 90s. Did your, your brother do stand-up? Did he follow up on it? Uh... Or did no, he sign he up tonight? Out. Yeah, he bitched out. He he bitched out. Yeah, he's what, sitting over there. He didn't sign up. He didn't Look sign at up. you, Michael. Look at you in I the know. brother in the race of brotherdom. You came out ahead. To uh, yeah, he's my older brother too. So, is there oh. anything you'd like to? Is there like a word you'd like to call him or a name or something like that from on this stage right now? He's out there in the audience. Your older brother. He's always picked on you. He's always called you a fucking. Uh, guys, he hasn't been. <laughs> guys, he has not been laid in a very long time. Your brother? So. Your brother hasn't gotten laid in a uh, long time? Oh, dude. So all night, all I hear is. You like hear that. him jerking off? At the end, I hear him crying. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your brother's gonna beat the shit out of you after this. I'm just saying, guys, he's single. Uh, he might have a kid, but. She's not he might have a kid. <laughs> Look how he's talking oh now compared to your minute of stand up. You're all fucking loose. I say talk shit about your brother. He's like, you ready for this? Just Kevin Hart out of the box, just fucking pacing the stage like Dane Cook. So my brother's a faggot. Look at his dimples, too. He has the uh, strongest dude. dimples in the business. What? Fuck yeah. yeah man. Heck yeah. Fat people shit. <laughs> The so better I get, the harder it is for them to come out, man. So. I love it, dude. You're a good-looking guy, Michael. I, I enjoy it. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, release that top button. Let a little blood get to your skull. <laughs> oh God! Uh, there he goes, Michael Cancino. Everybody, his second time on the show. We're flying through it. We're gonna get some fucking people up here. So many names in this bucket. Phoenix always shows up. You guys always make it worth this fucking trip for us by being so goddamn. Hey, Powerful. what'd you tell him I jack off, fool? <laughs> I don't cry, dog. Wow, switching characters. So weird. What was that? He's acting like the brother right now. If you're uh, the following. <laughs> pull William. the name out of the bucket. Let's keep this fun train moving along. What do you say? Put your hands together for Tristan Bowling. Bowling. <laughs> Bowling. Bowling. Is that right? Hey, here he is. Tristan, welcome back. Oh, how we doing, huh? Yeah! Oh, my name is Tristan. A little fact about me. My sister came out of the closet recently, which is awesome. I mean, it was great. It got me thinking, you know, like, what do I identify as sexually? And I think I got it. I think I most sexually identify as a virgin. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Come on. We all know what the fuck I mean. Does it look like I've ever touched a boob before? Exactly. Like, I'm 20 years old. Like, this isn't the body I wanted at 20 years old. Are you fucking kidding me? I have the sex appeal of a daddy long leg spider. That is absolutely true. Absolutely true. No daddy in this daddy long leg, you know? Not a drop of daddy. I'm like a Ken doll, just dickless with somewhere to be, you know? You just Fuck yeah, dude. That's what it's all about right there. <laughs> Again, that is the second time tonight that I give a note to somebody who's brand new at it, and then you get to see somebody who's done this uh, clearly many times do exactly what the note is that I just gave. You looked out there and you fucking did your goddamn shit. Thank you, man. It was great. Unbelievable. And you did it all while looking like Curious George Lucas. Yeah. yeah. I, 
Dog, this fit is sick as shit. You can't tell me. You got nothing. style, bro. I know you fucking young punks. I don't fuck with you guys. Dog. I don't. I don't. I literally don't fuck with guys that look Dude, like Tristan. Dude, I'm dripping Goodwill head to fucking toe right a- now. Absolutely, whatever you say, I agree with. Guys like Dude. you always have like 20 screen names on the internet, and I don't need all 20 of them trolling me at once. <laughs> I love everything about you. I love everything you do, Tristan. Yeah, thank You're fucking you, buddy. awesome. Thank uh, you. You've been on the show before. I have never been on really? the show before. Why do I feel like I remember because you? David I, Geary. Because uh, last time you were here, I was at the show and I introduced myself okay. afterwards. Very cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, look at you. You're a fucking little killer. How long yeah. you been doing this for? Uh, four years. Four years. All here in Phoenix? Yeah. I and started you? when I was 16. Wow. And you're what? How old now? 20. I turned 21 on Saturday. Wow. That's fucking incredible. Incredible. Look at this guy. That's how you fucking do it right there. Start young. Wow, Tristan, that is so fucking cool. You go to school or anything? Ah, fuck no. I got my GED, dog. You already the got it. You Beautiful. I'm from Buckeye. We don't learn out there. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. 303 in the women's prison representing, you know? Wow. You got the Cabela's table going crazy back here. I think they're from Buckeye. Fuck City. yeah, my neighbor's dirt. You know what it is, dog. Holy it, shit, he's throwing looks- up Phoenix gang signs over here. <laughs> it, it looks like you got those pants from a women's prison. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Tristan, look at you. That is so fucking cool. What did your parents say to you when you wanted to start stand-up at 16? You close with them? Uh, yeah, I'm really close with them. Uh, for the first year and a half of me doing stand-up, my dad had to come with me to the spot. Wow. Yeah, because... So you're under uh, 18. They, they wouldn't let me in. Right. And yeah, his was mom sick. was all home alone with me. <laughs> oh, the milkman making little brothers 24-7. Listen, I wouldn't want anyone else fucking my mom. That's right. Um, Besides Bill Billingsley. Hey, I've been there, done that. No. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. <laughs> so your dad used to go with you a lot, so he truly supported you, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the fucking best. That's so fucking cool, man. Is, yeah, is your dad also a Gordon's fisherman? Uh, <laughs> dude, my mom literally, as I left the house, and I'm like, if you go up, you, someone's going to say some Gordon fisherman oh, shit. I know your mom well. <laughs> yeah. Bill Billingsley really is fucking your mom. <laughs> <laughs> What you didn't see was him under the covers making the jokes to her the first time. Oh, that's funny, Bill. I'm going to say that. Hey, someone's going to call you the Gordon's Fisherman. (laughs) Bill Billingsley putting his foot behind his head while still air-fucking Tristan's mother. (laughs) That is one of the weirdest sexual positions. What are you rubbing right now? What are... What is that? Uh, Wait. What the hell, Wait, he's rubbing his own asshole, ladies and gentlemen. That's his new thing. Bill Billingsley is drunk and hilarious. Uh, He was fucking for a second. He had his foot behind his head, and he was rubbing some clit that was in the midair. That's how she likes it. (laughs) What what would that have been? Was that at the top of her vagina? I don't ask questions. (laughs) (laughs) That's such an interesting outfit. Really, it is. I... Yeah. I can't even imagine wearing those colors yeah. and making it work. You made it work. Hell so yeah, yeah well, well, dude. Well, well, if you did it, you'd look like a live construction zone. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just like if Kanye was a Muppet. <laughs> his, his mother also said he looks like Harry Potter in a rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're right. So Tristan, tell us yeah, a little I don't bit more about you. You're a young buck. I don't even know what 20-year-olds are up to nowadays, but you seem you, like you have fucking style. You seem like you listen to uh, all the hip uh, all the hip kids and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hi- I'm hip on the trends, Tony. Yeah. Um, I got all oh, that. I got Wi-Fi and BuzzFeed going through my veins. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So what do you, what does a guy like you do for fun? You uh you beat Fortnite or whatever? No, no. I uh, what? Did you collect all the Pokemon? No, I don't. I don't. I don't really play uh, a lot of video games or uh. nothing. But I uh. I do, uh, I, I do rap in my spare time. You do what? You rap? I rap. Get the fuck out of here. Nah. You gonna do it right now for us? You gonna oh, give us a little something? Easy, easy. Here we go. Here's Tristan Bowling. Okay. 
got gratitude. Hi, call me ladded to the baddest dude. Ripping in the club with the attitude. I'm doing my best to stay on the path less traveled. Lay down the concrete pavement over the gravel beat. Banging like the judge in the court with the gavel. And I'm sitting tight saddle with this wave that I battle. I handle myself best taking tail. Yes, I tattle. Quiz be clean, but I'm not crest up. Clips of my shadow. Rocking bags like designer. I'm real fucking tired. Wow. Clear a room quicker than some bitches calling out fire. Hey. Make room for the liquor. Couldn't get any higher. Like Zoom, bitches. And I'm popping off like a firework. Yeah, hey, look at that. Damn. Tristan. Wow. You win, dude. Look at that. Awesome. There you are, my friend. It's some delicious milk for you. Wow. Hell yeah. I, I was hoping we were going to go faster. I can go fast. How much faster can you go? Uh, you do some fast shit. Um, like, like. Yeah, just go fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Find me like choking the swamp and I'm choking the water, the dirt of the frogs, gay. Yeah. Right at the head of the pot of Hermione, the mother was choking the dip like a Sunday, ay. Not to the post like a Sunday, ay. Not in a palm like a pomade, ay. Sip of the dip like a bomb, ay. Close the bottom like a pomade, cuz I'm that motherfucker, sister, daddy, brother, fucker. Suck us, we got a squawk and peep in the pussy bed. You can knock a struck down, never loved him, he was like a brother. Blue on the motherfucker, like dance struck, I'm sad to see you with another zap. When we touch like an ape conductor, I'm baby girl, you're my who your fucking world. And when I see you with that guy, I wanna fucking hurl, cuz I know you see me go through the town, really try to say a level ground, but when I see you with that man, my name, man, he's a fucking drunk. I'm a dog, I'm in the bull chip, but that ain't holy wow. right. It sucks every time we try to sing. That's all of these little other boys, but I'm okay. I'm all right, I'm just fine, but maybe. Yet this motherfucker brain of mine so stressed about some lady, cause baby. I love that shit. Tristan. Wow. <laughs> that was very impressive. <laughs> uh. <sighs> You want to fuck my wife? <laughs> Milkman? I, uh, I, I, I saw it got quite the ovation. Uh, I must be from a different time period. <laughs> I didn't understand what he was saying. I, I like things a little bit slower and um, right, more enunciated. Right. <laughs> there you I, go. I mean, I've been, no I've been known to freestyle myself a time or two. Wow, you want to... You wanna, you wanna, you want to freestyle? Wait, a little fun fact is, is that the milkman has freestyled before. He was in a rap competition against somebody who couldn't rap. <laughs> but I guess he's a. Uh, I, I, are you what you want? If you want to do it, uh, do you have any kind of swing music or anything? Yeah, like Joel Berg, play a little swing. No, I don't want that. I want oh, you that. want? Oh, you want? Uh, you if you got YouTube, Some, I can suggest uh, a beat. Wow. <laughs> All right, calm down, Tristan. Okay. <laughs> I just spent a lot of time. In All the right. meanwhile, I will say this is that uh, Tristan, um, you uh, you know, before before we let the milkman uh, rap here, uh, I will say that I I absolutely love your jokes. I love your stage presence. I love this interview so much, and uh, I want to let you know that I believe that you should be the I believe third or fourth ever golden ticket recipient to where you. Uh, get a spot on the show anytime you're at it. So there you go. Started at 16. He's 20 years old. On Saturday, on Saturday, you're gonna be allowed at the comedy store for the first time in your life. I know. I I went when I was 17 with my mom, and they let didn't let me in. They didn't wow. let me in. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, well, you're going to. Uh, you're going to. Uh, you're going to. Uh, I love you, dude. You are. Uh, uh, you are Thank amazing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh my God! I'm gonna go home and come. And this is the best. <laughs> I am. Uh. I am too. I'm going to your home and coming if your mom's there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many of you want to hear the milkman rap right now, huh? <laughs> I know I do. <sighs> I got. I'm fucking all. It really oh. takes the air out of you, Tony. I know. I took the air out of your mom, dude. Whoa. Stop. Oh, Billing. You me. look like Mr. Rogers south side of the border, dog. Oh. <laughs> You're like Mr. Whoa. Rodriguez. That's what, your mom, that's what your mom calls me in bed. She says, won't you be my neighbor, dude? <laughs> he 
deep-throated his drumsticks. One of the great maneuvers in all of Kill Tony. Uh, <laughs> Milkman, you don't want to rap? Milkman. The moment has passed. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I guess so. I don't really think so, but, I mean, if you don't want to, we'll, we'll keep flying through. We won't want you to rap. Oh! Hey, banana. Hey. That has lyrics on it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I we'll, we'll we'll go we'll go back to it later. Give it up for Tristan. All right, hey. milkman. There he goes, Tristan Bowling. Golden ticket at 20 years old, the youngest ever uh, Kill Tony uh, fucking uh, super winner. That was beautiful. This that really was beautiful. isn't a competition show, but every once in a while, you you just gotta you, when you find somebody you love, you gotta fucking double down and keep them on your side. You know what I mean? Beautiful. How about another hand for Tristan Bowling, ladies and gentlemen? I know a lot of you like it when people do bad, but I think sometimes you're lying, and I think sometimes you like finding new fucking uh, amazing comedians. I am hammered. <laughs> Bill Billingsley is fucked up on pure adrenaline. Nothing gets him wilder than when one of the kids whose moms he's fucking is on the show. Just Durant so proud of my son. Period's gonna be your next comedian, Chad Koch Arar, Koch Caver, Kochaver, Chad K O C H. Chad Kochaver. Uh. Chad, is anybody walking to the stage? No. Nope. Love pushing number nine. Oh, here he is. Here, oh, here you're he around. Goes. Yeah. yeah. Keep coming, Chad. Welcome to the show. Hell yeah. Chad clearly just got here before the last comedian was done. Here he comes. You guys having fun out there? Here he is. Here's Chad. Yep, it's me, Chad Kochevar. World famous. I, uh, I came from Tucson, though, so whatever you guys think about Phoenix, Tucson is at least 10 to 30 times that. I, uh, I'm 32, so I'm at that point where I don't know if I'm old or young yet. So I was trying to test it out to figure out if I was old or young. So I would try to hit on like 21 year olds, right? And I figure, I figure you're getting old if you're, or getting old if it's creepy to hit on 21 year olds, right? So I've probably been, I've probably been old since I was like 19. And at that, at that, if I'm doing that correctly. Because I also get, I have aunts, right? Some people have aunts, you know, like your mom's sisters. One of my aunts while I was in Vegas, asked me if I had a girlfriend, you know, because you start to get a little bit older and you don't, like, I, no, I don't have a girlfriend right now, Debbie. I don't. And you don't, you don't know me that well, but if you'd ever smelled my farts before, you wouldn't even be talking to me right now. My, my flatulence ruined my relationship with God. I also, so I'd been, I, I'd been dating also. There you go, Chad. All right, Chad. One minute and 15 seconds from Chad. Kochover? Uh, Kochevar. It's completely phonetic. Kochevar. I have no idea how you messed that up. That's never happened before. All right, well, I'll, I'll, explain, Shut up. I'll explain it to you, Chad. It's because, it's because right after your H there, do you see what you did? Did you write your name down? No, I, you, I did not write that. You had someone else write your name for you? It was, I wrote it left-handed. Are you, are you, I'm right handed. Sounds like a communist. So that's like a joke or something? <laughs> by the only, way, thanks only for. On the weekends. <laughs> thanks for dressing up for us, by the way. <laughs> Chad clearly coming straight from Colorado after finding out mushrooms were legalized two days ago. Yeah. My favorite drug. Completely phonetic. No you can't shit. Fuck it up unless you have. I don't believe it. You look like Rob you know? Zombie's <laughs> illegitimate kid, dude. He looks like he's Rob one, Zombie's just one of age. Them. Chad, relax. Let us let us get some of these fucking killer jokes out. I don't know if you've been paying attention to the show, but uh, we're all. I didn't know five. how to top Tristan, so okay. I, you I just, just you just keep doing what you're doing, Chad. Oh, okay, thanks. There you go. It's working really well. Just keep talking in between every single sentence. Don't leave a single gap of air. I don't have to breathe. Oh, you oh. almost did it again. I thought I had you, but then you had it. It's completely phonetic, Chad. Yes. Uh, just quick question. Do you have a pet billy goat? <laughs> two. I have two. Are you someone's pet, Billy Goat? <laughs> I have a real question for you, Chad. This is all fun and games, but I got to know, does the curtain match the drapes? Do you have, do you have uh, barely any hair above your dick and your ball hair tied into a, uh, a braid? 
I've got two beards, yes, two. I love it, I love it. Chad, what do you do for work? One. What do you do for work? If you're here, who's watching the dispensary? My brother. I, uh, bl- bl- I make sushi, believe it or not. Really? You're yeah. a sushi chef. I'm probably the most stereotypical sushi chef. Right, well, yeah, you got the samurai goatee. Yeah. And yeah. Japanese. Top, bottom knot, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, how long have you been a sushi chef for? Uh, uh, six years. Damn. I think six years, yeah. Surprised you uh, didn't get on a roll here tonight at all. <laughs> uh, there you go. Su- you uh, a sushi chef, chef in uh, uh, Phoenix. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, the freshest uh, sushi. The freshest ever. Yeah. Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, I thought I was hammered. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just had a stroke, all right? Chill out. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, uh, they yes they have uh, sushi here. Um, you don't need to get your su- this isn't uh, this isn't milkman days. You don't need to get your sushi straight from the river that day. <laughs> yeah, but isn't but it, it better that way? way? Better if you do the old uh, Phoenix sushi, food poisoning for sure. People ever get sick eating your sushi, Chad? Not mine. No, not yours. Fuck I heard none. it's always the rice. Uh, fun fact: it's never the meat. It's always the rice that gets you uh, food poisoning. It would, yeah, definitely, because yeah. the rice is... Yeah. The rice is, uh, what? It, it what, does what, that. What were you going to say then? You're the sushi chef. Yeah. Your weird goatee touches it. <laughs> yeah. I just... Feel fucking tickle. Uh, wow, so a sushi chef. You, uh, you know any, uh, you speak any Asian or anything like that? You know, uh, how, to, you know yes. how to, like, say things to Japanese sushi chefs? Like, oftentimes they'll, like, at the, a lot of the restaurants I go to, uh, like, they'll fucking say things. Like, like Domo Arigato, yeah, Mr. How, Roboto. How, how about how uh, about still unfunny? Oh my God, Joel, let it just. All right, everybody. I don't okay. understand what this Oriental is saying. All right. Speaking of Chad, what made you want to become a sushi chef? Uh, I ran out of money, needed a job, so uh-huh. I just started what were you making doing rice. When, what were you doing when you ran out of money? Nothing. Squatting. Squatting. Did Growing you do that for a while? Did you squat? For like a year. Yeah. Uh, any uh, hot spots here in Phoenix that uh, are squatter? Well, I, I, I was in, I'm, in, I'm from Tucson. You're from Tucson. So I don't know much about Phoenix. That's right. the Reno that it's of hotter. Phoenix, right? You the Reno s- of Phoenix, right? Huh? Yeah. 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 Tucson's the Reno of Phoenix. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. It's the very more ghetto. Right. Four times. Next yeah, time. you were trying to, uh, you were trying to, uh, uh, it didn't come across quite clear when you said 10 to 30 times. That like we didn't know if you were saying worse than. Phoenix yeah, yeah, I was going Phoenix. for the negative effect. Right, it's much more negative. Yeah, indeed. What's your, what's what's your least favorite thing about Tucson? That it's Tucson. You are uh, just. Uh, uh, it, it's kind of boring, I guess. So you have to do drugs. You are just a bucket of. Fun. I say, I say, my my uh, least favorite thing about Phoenix is your shorts. <laughs> it's it's possible. Chad, tell us something we'd be surprised to know about you. Uh, other than the fact that you're a sushi chef or that your uh, ball sack has a single braid. What else? Uh, <laughs> any other fun facts? Any about other you? fun facts? Do I do, like, any, I do yeah. Tai Chi as well. Tai Chi? Can you give us a little example of some of your Tai Chi? You have a, any, little, uh, a little example? Got a little Asian it's not. Music? It's not really super kung fu. Yes, yeah, so there's some good old Tai it's Chi mo- music for you. It's more of a meditative you. art, really. It would, be, it would bore you very much. Yeah, yeah, just do something real quick. Do something? Oh, well, get boring. Uh, if, if it was going to get boring, I wouldn't fucking say to do it on my show. <laughs> See? See? Listen to that crowd. You thought it was going to be boring. You're right. That is pretty fucking boring. <laughs> that was the most exciting miserable. move. That was like wow. Lamaze. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get this hippie out of my town? Yeah. Yeah, let's keep flying through it. There you go. Uh, there's Chad Co- Kochover. Kochover. Kochover, Chad Kochover. Kochover. There you go. <laughs> Completely phonetic. <laughs> Love potion number nine. I wish you would step back from that. All right, right all right, right, Joel. Jesus Christ. What did we say before the show? You're a crazy bastard. I'm Bill Billingsley. <laughs> I hate my wife. I'm fucking my secretary. Fuck and that. I'm hammered. Oh, my God. <laughs> this vodka stuff really works. Wow. This is... Uh, we're going to start <laughs> doing Kill Tony's live from A meetings all around uh, the country. I'll never go. <laughs> okay, for pussies. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Makes some noise for Ryan Vanderwold. Ryan Vanderwold. Spelled his name out. Here he comes. Ryan Vanderwold. What's going on, guys? Uh, I just turned 30, uh, so some of my friends were telling me that I should probably start dating older women. So I'm up to 19 now. Um, Another thing about me, I have a lot of celebrity crushes. My number one celebrity crush is Princess Diana. You know when she got crushed in that tunnel? (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) I'm excited for 2020, um, the elections. Want to see what's going to happen, like if Bernie Sanders is going to be alive. It's really weird, right, for his, how old he is. There's a lot of young people who support him. There is, uh, I haven't seen this many young women support an old man since Hugh Hefner. <laughs> there is more young pussy at a Bernie rally than there is in an R. Kelly dressing room. <laughs> and I think that's about a minute. That's my time. I'm Ryan. Thank you very much. There it is. Ryan Vanderwold. Hell yeah. Are close to mine. That's this magic moment. Can I just say it's cool to see? No, his you paper. can't fucking okay. say. What are you talking <laughs> Shut up, about? You idiot! What is happening here? No, sure, head. What were you gonna say? Well, it's just interesting to see all the notes on the paper. I um, thought it was just a set list before, but it's actually everything. What, well, how could he have a set list? How could he know who's coming up and what would happen? No, what, what, uh, what songs he was going to play. I thought oh. they were all yeah, oh. planned out beforehand. Oh, yeah, He yeah. learns all the songs right before he goes on stage, like yeah. five <laughs> minutes before he really? goes on. And he oh, you're not there. fucking... Oh. And he, no, he, just and he tries teaches to, himself yeah. by ear, yeah. so it's literally like... <laughs> yeah, it's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremiah loves the Kill Tony fan base, and... He did that for you guys. Don't drink it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. Hey, Chuck. Chuck. No. Chuck. No. Chuck. No. Chuck. No. Chuck. Wow. Oh. My goodness. My goodness. I don't know. That's Phoenix milk. Isn't that like Phoenix sushi? That it's might CBS make you man. sick. Yeah. All right, young Drew Carey. Let's talk about it. Uh, you're here. All right. He's chugging more <laughs> milk, everybody. <laughs> Woo! I love that he'll say that the. Ch- I love that he'll say that the window has closed for wrapping, but he'll just keep <laughs> chugging glass bottles of milk before we start an interview with this guy. Though he's, he's going all the uh, way. He's going for three. It's gonna be great. He's going to be shitting out of his dick. He's gonna vomit. He's gonna throw up. Can someone from the staff bring a trash can up here so that when he does throw up any second? There's one more left. Can he do it? Can someone from the staff oh, grab a no, trash he can? can? Oh, he's going to the table. Somebody grab it. Yes, thank you. Grab us a trash can. He's going to throw up. Wait, he, he doesn't know it clearly somehow, but he's definitely going to throw up. Oh god! A, li- a little fun fact: they don't have milk here. Yeah, that is definitely non-dairy creamer that he is. Uh, Wait, there's one on this there's, table right here. There's one. Oh, I have to share a hotel room with this guy. I need a trash can. I need okay, a trash can. We got can. a trash can. Oh, you yeah. got one? Oh, yeah. great. Here you go. Oh god. <laughs> Wow. Look at this. This is what the comedy club thinks of SNL. Look at that, by the way. One more. That's a trash can show. Hey, we got one more left. One more. He's chugging milk, fans of the show. I know what you're thinking. What happened to the show three minutes ago? (laughs) Jeremiah has decided for the first time ever. Chug, 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 chug. Chuck, 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 He's Chuck, fucking Chuck, 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 Woo! Wow. 
Uh, that's a first in the show's history. Uh, Jeremiah just chugged a bunch of pitchers of milk. Might can stand we, a little bit back. Can we get some ponchos for the front row? Because yeah. this shit is going down. It's Gallagher, CBS. Wow, look at this. This lady is so scared. I didn't mean to call you a lady. I don't know if that's <laughs> offensive. Put, it appears that he's putting his saxophone away. This woman. Uh, the good thing about a milkman. All right. It'd be just so... Jeremiah clearly is retired. There's a uh, little cup up. There's one still behind you. Oh, wow. This place is chaos right now. Don't worry. Now. That's the least don't amount cry, of... Don't cry over spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, uh, milkman, what the fuck just happened? Uh, would you like to give the podcast listeners any verbal indication of what just happened on this show? Or is that just going to go down in history? Is four minutes of silent chugging. <laughs> Well, you see, the audience kept egging me on to drink more milk. And guess what? I delivered. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is what happens when you... Well, what... Ryan, it was nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Ryan, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, a little bit less than a year. A little bit less than a year. Fun times. Uh, what did you talk about up here again? Uh, dating life. Um, dating Princess life. Diana. That's right. That's a right. That's and right. Bernie. What's your dating life really like? Um, it's all right. Um, I'm on the dating apps and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, what dating apps are you on? Uh, Tinder and Bumble. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your name on those sites so that these ladies can find you? Ryan. Wow, the ladies are... It's a real unique name. You guys should be able to find me. You should try Clutch. Uh, Best date that you've ever had. How'd that go on um, off one of those sites? How did that go? You guys met... That actually happened recently. Um, My first time where I ever slept with the woman the same night I met her. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, so that was really... That was great. She was a mom of of four. Um, A mom of four? A mom of four. An ex Oh, yeah. Maybe five after you're done with her. Exactly, yeah. You look like you do not pull out. I didn't, no, actually. You didn't? You came inside of her? I did. I did. That is true. That actually happened. My God. We see who the real milkman up here is. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yes. I did it. I did it. I'm the fifth. I'm, yeah. Fifth is mine. The entire crew is drunk right now. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and Jeremiah, he just drank eight pitchers of milk. <laughs> Somehow he's the one that's about to throw up. Uh, waterfalls of milk. Okay, okay. All right, Ryan. Uh, so uh, that first date uh, where you hooked up with the mother of four, where'd you take her? Where, where, where do you take a mother of four? Like where, Corners where? Pasty Co.? Wow. That place is good. We've been local there. Local reference. I'm guessing you just got her fucking hopped up on a couple margaritas, huh? No. Her, her dad actually uh, killed himself. Uh, he was an alcoholic, so she doesn't drink. Um, wow. So she was stone cold sober. Wow. Dude, I've never yeah. been harder in my life, dude. <laughs> God damn. Complete, yeah. Complete. It's all true. Wow. That yeah, it was heavy stuff to learn about it on the first date and then come inside of her. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Dump a fucking the old uh, the old fucking uh, load. <laughs> so tell us uh, tell us some. Oh God. <laughs> so tell us uh, something else about you, Ryan. Tell us more about uh, about you. Um, let's see. I like Magic the Gathering. Um, no, it's something we don't know. <laughs> right. Um, I don't know. Um, I have diabetes. I do you really? I do. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. God damn. <laughs> All right. Okay. You guys want to see some shit? Yeah. We do. Oh, what look is at that? that shit. No, no, no. Put it away. Put this it away. This keeps me alive. That's wow. an iPod? I have a bar. No, I'm just Apple kidding. I shouldn't shuffle? say that here. And the other side of that, where does that go? In your penis hole? <laughs> Around there. It's uh, in my leg. It's normally either in my leg or in my stomach. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm Sexy. surprised uh, that a diabetic guy is so into cream pies. It's very good. All right. Um, well, Ryan, anything else for Ryan, guys? Let's keep flying through this, shall we? We're getting down. Yeah, uh, dude. We're getting down to it. Wow. You guys having fun out there? It's going to be a slightly. Uh, this is going to be a slightly longer than usual episode. Can I if just that's ask? Okay with you guys. We gotta wait just, for Jeremiah just slightly. To Don't get crazy. We, I, we do I, I just want to know if there's anyone out here that is an actual secretary tonight. 
Wow, any, any secretaries? Oh, shit, look at this one out here. Look at this fucking wild one. <laughs> Secretary? Uh, damn, look at her. Oh my she God. looks like she's fucking related to Dog the Bounty Hunter or something like that. She looks like fun. Uh, okay, put your hands together for your next comedian, Sam R., everybody. Sam R. Sam R., period. Sam. Eh. Sam R. <laughs> Sam R. Sam R. Here he comes, ladies and you know gentlemen. Sam Live R. in the flesh. It's Sam R, everybody. Sam R. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Uh, there's a lot of labels out there, and everybody uh, likes to put on everyone. And uh, I, uh, I don't like how people look at me when they find out I'm a squirter. <laughs> uh, it's just different, you know, because uh, it, it's, it's all the time. Uh, but uh, I, I'm a single parent, or I was, for about five years, and uh, I had to uh, learn how to mix things up by myself. I didn't date a whole lot. So uh, I went out to a local adult novelty store, and I picked up myself a cock pump. So I go home. You know, I got three children running around the house, put on a cartoon, whatever the fuck, and uh, wedge a chair underneath the doorknob, get myself all pumped up nice and hard, and then... Uh, get ready to go to Tugtown, and uh, I pause for a second, and I realize I like to have my balls sucked on uh, while I'm getting stroked, and I have a device. Never mind. Thank was, you. Was there more to that? You wanted to use that? A little was, bit more. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So uh, I, I realized I have a device next to me that actually sucks, and I did not d decide to put it on my balls. Now, I don't realize until after that they're stuck, until I've already came on myself. And now my belly looks like a. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's much. a little yes, bit, a little bit too much. What does your yeah. belly look like, though? I want to. It know. looks like a glazed donut that was dropped on a barbershop floor. A barbershop floor. Okay, now I yes, got it. There you Tony, go. Tony, I don't know wow. if you noticed, Jeremiah's not playing the sax anymore because he doesn't want to puke in his new sax. There you go. We are on Puke Watch uh, 2019 with Jeremiah Watkins, which I I don't know about you guys, but I think he should make himself puke right now and just get it out of his system. Yeah. I mean, throw a fucking finger down that throat, dude. Let's get it out of the way. These people want to get you back on the saxophone to end the show. <laughs> I mean, no, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. No. Jeremiah, don't. Stop, stop. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I feel bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm like, <laughs> whatever you want. If you want to. <laughs> Only if you want to, dude. I'm not forcing you to fucking. <laughs> Yo, you, 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 do you guys ever sit during the show and go, what is my life? <laughs> like, what, what is fucking going on right Bill, now? Bill, we're just trying to have some good, clean fun here tonight. <laughs> I sit here and go, what, is, what have I done? Bill, what, did you just sober up for a second? Shut the fuck up. No, I want it to happen. All right. It looks like he's. It looks like he's actually. It appears as though he has digested the milk already. Um, let's get to Bullshit. Sam for a second here. Sam, how are you? Fantastic. Uh, you said that for a while you were the single parent. Uh, you were a single parent for five years. How did your five-year-old die? Uh, well, no, they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> no, my five-year-old didn't die. My ex left. Uh huh. My ex left, oh. and, I, and I had sole custody of all three of my children. Oh, okay. So for five years, I did that on my own you before see, I ended up did you, When you say sole custody, that means that you just had custody of their souls, right? Correct, yes. <laughs> yes. You, I, you, you worship the Dark Lord Lucifer. Yes. Right, very good. Uh, what, uh, what company do you drive an 18 wheeler for? I don't, actually. I really? work in heating and air conditioning. Heating, ah, would have been the other yeah. fucking guess. All oh. you guys look the same. It's weird that heating and air conditioning guys have the biggest beards. Like, it doesn't really make sense. You would think they'd be just the perfect temperature. <laughs> uh, you've worked in heating and air conditioning for a while? Two years. You have a preference between the two? You seem like you like air conditioning a little bit more than... I love than, it. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. When it works. Yeah. But I'm the one always fixing it when it doesn't. Hell yeah. Uh, and surprisingly, you're, uh, you don't have diabetes. Am I correct? I, uh, I may. I have pre-diabetes, possibly. Uh-oh. According to the VA, so... A little... Pr <laughs> it's our second preemie up here tonight. Yeah. I love it. Tell us more about you, Sam. You seem like a fun guy. Um, when I got remarried, I married a black woman. Whoa! Yeah. Get the oh, fuck out of here. Yeah. 
my God. I yeah. can't imagine uh, how you many... I can't imagine how many of your closest friends stopped talking to you. Yeah. Uh, well, I've, now I can't go back, so... Yeah, you look like the most racist person I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Well, I used to actually shave my head, like, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like I, I said. Yeah, yeah, I know. So but I had to grow it out after I got remarried. But you kept, the be- you kept the beard that whole time? Well, no, actually, I, I couldn't grow the beard until I left the military in 2014. Oh, wow. What, br- yeah. what branch of the military were you in? Wow, the Air Force. Hell yeah. yeah. Look at that. Went from Air Force to uh, wearing Air Force Ones. You married a black woman. Uh, <laughs> Um, wow, that, yeah, uh, is there something that you notice a little difference, uh, between, uh, being with a black woman than a white woman? Any, uh, any, anything uh, that you prefer or? She chokes too soon. She chokes too yeah, soon. Yeah, that, that's, I come fast when I get choked. She chokes too soon. She chokes you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't understand oh, wow. that. Wow. Yeah. I don't tell her to stop because I think it's, she owes it to me, kind of. Damn, that is interesting. So you guys, how long have you two been together? Uh, it'll, be, it'll be five years, November. Man, year, that is yeah. so cool. Uh, and uh, and um, you, have, you still have your three kids. Yep. How yep. old are they? They are 14, 15, and 12. 14, Those 15. are my three, and I have a stepdaughter who's uh, 11. Did you live 10. on the Air Force base with this woman? What's that? Did you, did you guys live on an Air Force base? I did, yes. So here's something. Uh, uh oh, here comes Jeremiah. Can I say something? Yeah. So my brother. Uh, so my mom was married to a, ma- a different man than my dad. He was in the Air Force. They lived in Sarpy County, Omaha, Nebraska, where an Air Force base is. Yeah. And uh, my brother's dad is black. My mom's Mexican. So <laughs> guys that would uh, salute. Keep going, Joel. Guys that. Uh, so Jesus so- Christ! This is the Kill Bill of stories you're telling. So- my yeah, God. you're welcome, you idiots. All right. Uh, so on the base, on the base, my uh, people would have to salute my uh, my brother's dad. Yeah. But then when they would see an interracial couple at the mall or something, they wouldn't like make eye. <laughs> Wait, what is he doing? What are you doing, Bill? <laughs> Bill, where are you going? <laughs> Where Bill Billingsley just walked off the Grab set. Grab me a jack of dime. Jeremiah's about to throw up. That's not the bar, Brian. That's a green room. Jeremiah, are you going to do this or what? I'm trying my darndest. <laughs> the whole place is in absolute chaos right now. Uh, my goodness. Oh, Jeremiah. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, Jeremiah, I don't think it's happening that naturally. You should probably stop trying it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my thought, my thought was up. like, wow, all that milk's probably at the top of his stomach. All he's going to need to do is try for a second. It'll probably come out. But now I'm telling you, we yeah. can just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think, uh, I think I, I, I'm sorry to tell you, Milkman, but I think we're going to need to go a different route with, uh, with all this. <laughs> <laughs> No. Stop it, Jeremiah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> stop it, Jeremiah. Stop. There you go. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's going <on> out. <laughs> Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> All right. We need paper towels and uh, real towels wow. or whatever. There wow. you go. Wow, this nice lady. The one with the big tits just gave him a tissue. Tampon. She pulled that right out of fucking. Those things are warm. Wow, how about another hand for Jeremiah Watkins? Oh my god. Yep. And uh, how about one more time for Sam R, ladies and gentlemen, giving us his uh, first time ever on stage. Sam, that was a fun set. Congrats, man. Nice to meet you. You got, uh, you got upstaged by a vomiting milkman. I don't know what to tell you. Only on Kill Tony can something like this happen. 
man, the crowd fucking loved it, man. There's more napkins coming, a lot of donations coming from the that, audience. It's funny because right there is a Kill Tony Jackass connection because we got Rick Kosick, Wee yep. Man. Yep. I remember Rick Kosick teaching Jeremiah. Wow, how to why don't puke. you tell us a story about it, Joel? Oh my God, what is happening? My name is Bill. I hate my wife, and I'm fucking my secretary. You guys want to go? You guys want to go back to the bucket one more time, huh? One more time. There he is. There you go. They got gotcha. you. There he is. And a bottle of water. How about a hand for the amazing staff here at Stand Up Live in Phoenix? Move that trash can out of the way. Though. Always been like home to us. Jeremiah, you want to throw that trash can just on yeah. the other side of you yeah, there? It's so okay. Yeah. That could even... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yep. Sure. It. That works. Hell yeah. In just this. in case Bill Billingsley makes himself throw up on one of his long stories. Somehow yeah. I'm the least disgusting person on this stage right now. Oh, my God. Wow. All Agent. right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys want to do this? One last comic, huh? All right, here we go. Closing out the night tonight. If he's here, put your hands together for Eddie B, everyone. Eddie B. Here we go. Oh, there he is. Here he comes all the way around. Eddie B. Whoa. One more time for your final comedian of the night, Eddie Eddie B, everyone. Are you good, man? Shut up. I I can't believe it. One more time for Eddie B, everyone. Let's restart your final set of the night, Eddie B. This is fucking crazy, man. I can't believe I got on stage. So so about four years ago, I graduated high school, right? And, And I... I was, uh, in, my, in my graduation pictures, I looked like I was fucking drunk, but in reality, I had a heart condition, and um, <laughs> so it sucked, because I couldn't go to my graduation party, and um, I was at the hospital for, like, a week straight, <laughs> and um, they, so I, I had a heart condition, so they strapped on these, like, things to my heart to monitor it, and uh, I, I, like, was walking home last night, and I realized how fucking stupid I am. I, um... I was masturbating one night after Game of Thrones, <laughs> and <laughs> I, I just realized, like, yesterday that I had a heart monitor attached to me, so I was like, oh, no, the nurse probably th- fucking saw my heart rate rise, and she's like, oh, my God, that kid's masturbating. I'm not going in there for, like, three hours, <laughs> and... <laughs> uh, you're going until the end of this joke. <laughs> The funny thing is, I was there for a week, and it was like the second day, and they didn't change my sheets for the rest of the week. (laughs) Yeah, it was really bad. No, no, no. I liked it. Another hand for Eddie B., ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Eddie, I like your style. Oh, thanks. You have a heart condition? Uh, yeah, it, well, it's, uh, I had pericarditis, so I had an infection. Yeah, yeah, that's heart. weak lining of the heart. Yeah. I right. was once, little fun fact, I was once obsessed with being a heart surgeon in, in, uh, eight, in, in, in eighth grade. <laughs> and I a had, pilot. That makes too. sense. In, in eighth grade, I had taught myself how to perform emergency heart surgery with a pen. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Hey, hey, ask ask Joy next time she's in town. That makes Are you sense. Still trying to be a pilot so, too, Eddie? Uh, yes, I'm. Yeah, yes. shut up. And I'm and I'm not trying, you son of a bitch. I am a pilot. Yeah. It's fucking. Yeah. Assholes. Wait till Golden Pony Airlines fucking All right. debut. All right, Joel. Unless you're coming back out in underwear, shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, Eddie, uh, tell us more about you. You're four years out of, uh, you're four years out of, uh, <laughs> you're four, you're four, uh, fuck. You're four years out of high school. Is that true? You yeah. graduated high school at 43? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> the funny thing is I just recently lost my virginity. So yes, I'm in. <laughs> wow. Look at you. What's the black guy's name? This guy went from Game of Thrones to Game of Bones. You know what I'm talking about? What episode was it that uh, you jerked off after the Game of Thrones? What what do you get turned on by Starbucks coffee cups? It was actually the hard home episode. The what? The hard home episode Uh where with the White Walkers when they attacked the wildlings. Wow. Look at you. (laughs) Just got me in the mood, I guess. You and you're in the guy. You're in the guys. Uh, Jon Snow. Yeah. Wow. Look at you. I love that. You, you know. No, I'm, I'm straight. Oh, oh, you are. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you seem like such a happy, cool guy. I can't tell. I don't, I don't want to. 
Uh, I'm really nervous. I don't want to hurt your feelings. You know, I know it's easy to break your heart, so. It is. Actually, it is. Period on Titus. Uh, so, Eddie, so you have to do, like, special precautions at the dentist and everything for that condition, right? Uh, for, like, six months, I couldn't do, like, any physical labor, so it was... Yeah, well, you look like that's never been a something uh, on your uh, oh, no. <laughs> something on your wish list. This is what I'm. <laughs> wait a second, what is that? <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Look at, <laughs> hold on, Joel, come here, Joel, come here. If you're gonna show these people this, stand, hold on, stand in front of him for a second. Now turn around, show these people that ass of yours. Can you just do that? <laughs> It's Look at like this, ladies and gentlemen. SpongeBob SquarePants. This is why we need to build a wall. All right, sit down. Joel, go sit down. This guy's got a weak heart. You're coming out in fucking women's <laughs> underwear. Uh, so, no manual labor. Eddie, how? So now you're what, 22? I think I need to throw yeah. up again. Hey, Eddie, you're 22? How yeah. dare you? Um, doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Okay, there you go, yes. Tony, can I ask a question? Yes. I, I haven't figured it out yet, but what is it about this show that attracts all these Bobby Hill-looking motherfuckers? That I don't is... Whoa! Hey! It's it really like, is. It's like every other show. Uh, yeah. I started balding before it became cool. Wow. Sure, whatever. Uh, so, uh, you're 22, that, 22 years old? Yes. What do you do for work? Uh, I work at a field center right now. A field center? Yeah. What do you mean a field a center? A field center. A field center. Yeah, uh, what is that? Uh, basically, I just run the, I, I just, you know, help old people and just kind of give out gas. What do you help them do? What do you help them do? Well, you have a weak heart. What the fuck are you helping old people for? <laughs> well, um... I don't know if uh, Kroger, you guys have Smiths or Ralph's? Uh, you talking about Ralph's. grocery stores, yeah. my friends? Uh, yeah. We're from Ohio originally. We we were there. Kroger, we yeah. are OG Kroger Second people. Second job. Yeah. Right. yeah. My, my first job, Giant Eagle, Youngstown, Ohio. Oh. So yeah, I, I work at the Kroger equivalent in Arizona, which is Fry's. Yeah. No, we know Fry's. Yeah. 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 I work at a field center. And what the fuck is a field center? You know, fuel. Fuel? Yeah, fuel. Wait, you say it. You say it. Fuel. Fuel. Yeah, but how are you saying it? Fuel. Yeah. <laughs> the fuel? fuck is this Phoenix fuel. accent that's happened since we were? I got it, dude. It's drugs. Jesus Christ, it's Leonard Skinner. Fucking relax. <laughs> I know what he's saying, but he wasn't saying it right. Just because you guys speak fucking Phoenician or whatever this is, <laughs> he's saying fucking fuel. <laughs> but he's saying feel. Goddamn motherfucking Feel. crazy Feel. fucks. Feel like touch. Yeah. Fuel. Right. Fuel. 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 Yeah. Fuel. Oh. Fuel. Yeah. You know, you know you're the second guy up here that can't pronounce his job correctly. <laughs> Fuel center. So you're pumping gas. No, uh, I customers just give me money and I tell I just kind of put it in. You're a cashier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, customers always give you money, you idiot. I work at a field center. This Gas is station it. attendant. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, customers pay me. <laughs> uh, so you said you just lost your virginity. Let's talk about it before we get out of here. How did this magic happen? Uh, so you pump someone filled with fucking unleaded? Uh, what are we talking about here? <laughs> is this live we? right now? Uh, no, it's not live. Oh, thank God. It'll be up on the You're internet later. You're sleeping right now, dude. You're <laughs> sleeping. Well, um, I, it was actually like more of a friends with benefits type thing. Uh huh. And then uh, what? So what happened? Uh, she. Uh, I'm still getting over it. She started dating her previous boyfriend. It's okay. We're not talking about that. We're going to the beginning of the story, not the end of the story. Um. Well, it was like a week before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right before Christmas, yeah. and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. <laughs> And um, she told me she liked me, and then we, uh, we oh were drinking. Oh, my God. Are you sure you already graduated <laughs> from high school? <laughs> it was she, a small school. She told you small school. She told you she liked you, and you were drinking. What were you drinking? Fucking juice boxes? <laughs> I believe it was margarita mix. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> margarita mix? <laughs> no, just the mix? <laughs> with tequila. I actually, I've done that before, too. I was, I was once young and stupid. Then did you stick your dilly-dally in her bip-bop? 
Oh, hey, we're rushing that a little bit. We're rushing a little bit fast in the story. Oh, yeah, you're you were fine. drinking the margarita mix. Well, it was like with tequila. I was. Oh, drunk, you did so. put some tequila in yeah. there. Very good. That's. Oh, I important. love it. Uh, I was kind of massaging her uh, thighs. Get out of here. <laughs> Zay, uh, this is a, oh, fuck. I'm going to go off on a limb here, Eddie, and I'm going to guess this is sort of like a bigger girl, a little bit thicker. No, no, no. She's actually like, c- compared to me, she's attractive as Damn, fuck. I love them both. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you're rubbing her thighs. She's what is she doing? She's sitting next to you on a couch or something Yeah, like we that? were watching Shameless. Oh, and, uh, okay. Well, that's a big deal. I know yeah. when women see William H. Macy, they Wait, get a little Wait, don't spoil fucking. it. I'm on like season four oh, still. Yeah. Okay, sure. But um, so I have no idea. I've never watched an episode. I don't oh. give a fuck. Go ahead. But I, uh, I could kind of like you know feel the moment. So I just kind of I kissed How her. How could you feel the moment? How do you think you could feel the moment <laughs> I, as I a could, virgin? I mean, she's letting me. Like, was there rub. something that she's happened? She's like letting me rub like right here. So I was like, oh. And then what'd you do? So I started I started kissing her, and then um. Let me ask you a question. You said you were rubbing her thigh for a little bit. Hold on, give me this one second, then I'll come right to you, milkman. <laughs> You said you were rubbing her thigh for a while. Yeah. Right? And then you said that you you said that she was letting you rub right there, yeah. right? How long were you rubbing right there on her for? Uh, How long did you spend on that upper part well, of the thigh? Well, it was thigh? like it was like a progressive thing. I just kind of you know, Uh-huh. Rub. Yeah. Yeah, we call that move the Louis CK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, go ahead. So then after you rub the milkman, go ahead. I'm going to get I'm going to Okay, okay, back to you. Stick with me over here, Eddie, over here. Well, so um, when you did that, and then how do you make your move? When you found out that it was the right time, what did you do? You would lean in for a kiss? <laughs> I, I kissed her neck. Wow. He, he, was it? <laughs> yes, jingle bells indeed, because the story oh. takes place right before Christmas. I've blown so many loads of that song. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. So you kissed, uh, you kissed her neck. Uh, y- wow, you're putting chapstick on right now. <laughs> Red band. All right. All right. Okay. So, Eddie, you kiss the top of her neck. When you say that you kissed her neck, like, are you talking about, like, with tongue or just a peck or something like that? Well, she was also my first kiss. I Can you give really... us a little example? Can you give us a little example facing the audience of how you kissed her neck? He can kiss me. Wow. All right. Beautiful. Wait a second, wait a second. Can you rub can you rub his thigh how you were rubbing her thigh? No, no. No? No, no, no. no I'm good. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, okay. You're a goddamn You're a goddamn cashier at a gas station. You can rub his thigh. Are we gonna have to censor this on YouTube? Am I in trouble? No, no, no. Uh, after uh, after you kissed her on the neck, did you lean? Wait, in? here we go. He's talking about <laughs> Wow. I'm glad you stopped when you did because that could have been gay. <laughs> Yo, you good at that. <laughs> That's what she said, too. Thanks. For those of you listening to the podcast, he just massaged Joel's thigh, and uh, <laughs> Joel is uh, hard as a rock right now. No, no, no. I'm like mid-chub. <laughs> After you kissed her on the neck, did you lean into her ear and whisper, Do you want to go steady? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I wish. <laughs> Eddie, how long uh, how long did you last? Uh, how long uh, did you put a con- did you wear a condom? Actually, mm. tell us the truth, Eddie. Uh. Eddie, the truth will set you free, Eddie. Eddie, over here. Answer I don't think the qu- any of my friends are gonna watch this. Uh, for a while, we were just kind of barebacking it. <laughs> what do you mean? For, what do you mean for a while? Uh. <laughs> Yo, you fucked raw, dude. <laughs> Wait a second, everybody hold on. It was great. It was great. The only thing I like in the raw is my milk. Organic. Okay, all right, yeah. Okay. No, stick at the story. Jesus milk man. My God. Yeah, no better time than a fresh milk joke than right now. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. So when you say for a little bit you were barebacking it, what do you what do you what length of time are we talking about? Uh like three months. Wait. <laughs> You, wow. Well, so she, she had an implant, though. So she had an implant. Yeah. What kind of implant? The, well, yeah. <laughs> A dick. Oh. 
Wow, she had one of the arm implants. So you were fucking her for three months after that. Look at you, you little fucking fuck machine. No, it was just it was just one session. He left it in for three months. <laughs> yeah. And followed her around. My God. So then what? Then you started using a condom? Well, she, she started talking to her ex again. So. Oh. oh. You didn't have that fucking granny panty dick, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, no more barebacking from Went from IED to IOU. <laughs> she fucking... Well, there you go. Well, you know what, Eddie? I'm sure that after a set like this, all these beautiful women in the audience... No, uh, no, 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 all the beautiful no. women in the audience... No. no. No, no. I'm good. It's, it's, uh, it's I, th- I think right you. Now. I think you could probably, Eddie, over here. I think you could probably get laid tonight from one of these beautiful Fuck women in the crowd. There's a <laughs> yeah, lot of men out there yeah. clapping their hands. Maybe they'll let you bear back. Yeah, them. by some girl who really loves a picnic. <laughs> I love it, ladies and gentlemen. One more time for your final comedian of the night, Eddie B. Wow, epic. Epic times. There he goes. So much fun. We're going to be uh, taking pictures, shaking hands, selling posters. Jeremiah has some feminist Stacy t-shirts. There's uh, there's this, there's that. We're going to be right outside that door in just a matter of seconds. There I'll be to wearing say the hi same thing I am right now. If you want to say hi, if you've, uh, if you've uh, you know, whatever you want to do, uh, swing by and say hello to us on your way out. Anything else? From, uh, how about another hand for the great and powerful Jeremiah Walken? The new Reagan and Watkins album is out June 7th. There's a party June 6th at the Comedy Store. A big show. I'm going to be doing stand-up. I think Red Band's going to be doing stand-up. A bunch of other special guests. And there's a new episode of Jeremiah Wonders out. What else, Jeremiah? Uh, yeah, follow me on social media at Jeremiah Stand-Up. Stand-up. And you then guys... uh, subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins. That's right. Jeremiah How about Wonders another hand for Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez? <laughs> He's on social media, mostly sorry. Anything else, Joel? Yeah, shout out to Ludwig, uh, Reagan and Watkins on the 7th. It's a great record. I can't wait till you hear it. Also, we love you guys. Phoenix is like a second fucking home to us. We do love Phoenix you. so much. Thank we you really so much. love you guys. This Thank is you for the being shit. the Thank first you. city uh, to kickstart our summer tour, ladies and gentlemen. We love you so much. We'll see you again very soon. Thank see you. you. Guys. We love you. Good night. <laughs>